SD here. NS Source at SD70, and uh, we're back again. It's been a while. It's been a few months. Uh, today, we are doing the uh, Call Boards Mojave session. Uh, Jason G is putting on another one. Um, today, we're going to be running a helper set, so we are actually not the train in the background. We are these three light units here. This is our helper set. Um, and we're going to be showing off the new Dash 9s that came out a few weeks ago. Haven't got a chance to uh, get around to showing that to you guys. So uh, we're waiting. Right now we're waiting to get our assignment and everything, our GTBs. Because as everybody comes in, Jason gives them a train and stuff like that. So we don't usually don't hit the ground running with the train right away uh, in his session. So uh, the first not going to be quick, guys, to get started, just so you know. We have to stagger these trains. So it'll be a couple minutes till I get to you, and one at a time. Up all the way. I can try to talk louder. Your leader, Chris. Maybe. You talking to me, Jason? Yeah. What's your leader? Uh, the north unit is UP, or excuse me, SP eight one zero one. You want my south unit too? No. Nope. Okay. Um, but while we're waiting, and I'm trying to figure out how to turn up the mic. It's in there, Chris. Click on that link at the bottom. All right. You're going to start streaming. I'd recommend you do it here in about a minute. I am already live. Getting my All right. My name's Jason. Welcome to the call board. If you haven't been here before, I think most of you have. The ones that are new, um, if you're coming onto the territory, act like you already have a signal. Don't ask permission to move or talk to the dispatcher. If he gives you a light, that's your move. You're not going to say, use words User like spawn, channel. delete, uh, things along those lines. If you have to go to the bathroom or get something to eat, make something up like you want to go down to the nose or you've got traction motor problems or cooling or something like that is my point. Something that sounds real. The, the wind is a good idea as well, Juan. Uh, but you want to make it sound as realistic as possible. I'll be giving each and every one of you a bulletin, which we just spent six hours building, so I hope you guys enjoy them. They're individualized for each train. Some of you guys are going to need helpers, some are not. There is a helper document, and all the documents that you're going to need are going to be on the right-hand side of this folder at the top. If you click File Browser and open up, you can see all that stuff. You've got to follow that to the helpers, or else you will, in fact, have problems. Don't call less than clears on SP or UP in this case, and don't call anything on BNSF. Try and keep the chatter to a minimum. The idea is that we're here to have fun, but we want to have a town as real as possible. I wonder if Wyatt's sleeping. Um, what else? All right, guys, is that any better? I just tried to crank this up the decimal session, here, see if this so will work. We're not new at this, and uh, we've been doing detail for a while, but that's the idea, so we kind of need you guys to do that. Reggio, if you're going to run a train, you're going to want to listen to me. Mr. Flanagan. Jeez. Hey, Dave, just take it easy for a minute, Bob. Yeah, I just look at my bad orders here. Helpers are pretty, pretty straightforward. That document should walk you through it. I'm going to give you guys your information one at a time. I have you the way you came in here. I already took care of Bryn. Any questions? What's the port? 15195. Nice word. Mountain. All right, 
right, hopefully the audio is a little better. I tried to turn up the volume settings. I don't know why it's so quiet now all of a sudden. I'm not sure. Unless it's the microphone itself or something, but uh, we'll try. So that was a little job briefing uh, from Jason. Jason, do you want me to go over the helper operations? Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Okay, so we're going to do manned helpers today. Um, there's a couple things uh, in... Um, in the file browser in the lobby channel, if you right-click it, click file browser, um, you will find a document called, it says run a helper, I don't know if I can make it bigger, it's a run a helper procedures, and uh, it's like a write-up on how to handle the helpers, uh, because sometimes the sim can be finicky about that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, what you want to do is, uh, like we come to get a helper, we clear the, where, whatever the designated location is, the dispatcher signs to you, you want to stop, at least make a 10-pound set, and then uh, give three-step to the helper crew. The helper crew will come up. They're going to stop short. Now, helper crews, you have to take the EOT off manually. Um, if you don't, if you just knuckle in without taking the EOT off and close an angle cock, it will, you'll knuckle in, the EOT will disappear, but the angle cock will stay open and you'll dump the train. So we need to stop and take the, uh, uh, t close the angle cock and take the EOT off. Then go back in the cab and then, and then knuckle in um, from inside the cab that way just to make sure everything's okay then you'll see uh, a message will come up will say you now have helper control or some, something along those lines and just kind of wait a few seconds let everything settle down then you can go down cut your air in and everything you open your angle cocks put your hoses together and then go back in the cab and then you can let the head end crew know that you're all tied on and um, uh, they're ready for a test the head end crew should make another reduction, maybe down to 10 pounds, get 70 on equalizing reservoir. When the helper sees the reduction, let the head end crew know that they have the, they have received the reduction. Then the head end crew can tell them we're ready to go and to watch for the release. And when the helper crew, head end crew releases it, when the helper crew gets sees the release, they should, they should notch up and lean against the train and then slowly start to take the train out. So that's pretty much the most uh, basic way to do it in its short form. But the typed up document has everything written down so you can go ahead and read that and uh, it, things are in a little more detail there. So that'll help things. But I mean, running can be finicky. So we also recommend too that before you tie on with the helper, take your train and put it into the TMU. Just have a copy of it. And then if something goes wrong, your internet cuts out, my internet cuts out, whatever, you have a copy of your train and then you can we can respawn it and just set it back up and we can start over again. So, uh, any questions on the helper stuff? All right, your silence speaks volume, so I'm going to say uh, everybody's good to go. Yeah, hey, uh, what the, uh, as a dispatcher, I have no idea. I've never used the uh, run eight helper function. I'm just assuming the crews know what they're doing. Yeah, as a helper, Juan, you, or as a dispatcher, you really don't have much say. You just need to tell the crews where... Where, where you want to tie the helper on. So, like, let them know if, like, we're going to be on the Mojave side. So, like, yeah. let's say you want to tie them on, um, I guess it technically be south of Baina, or where do you want me to cut away at? Well, you want me to gotcha. cut away south of South Mojave. You know, set yourself up for your next move. You know, that's that's the most yeah. basic thing you want to do. Yeah, no problem. The only thing I, I say is uh, when I get these guys in my territory, if, if I forget to ask, are you going to need helpers? I have a list in front of me. Make sure you guys, if you're going to need helpers when you're coming onto the territory to advise a dispatcher. Give me a heads up is all I'm saying. And both head end crews and the helper crews, if you're getting toward the end of the at the end of your territory with as a helper, uh, don't be afraid to ask the dispatcher where he wants to cut the helper away at because he might want you in a different spot every time. So, you know, just double check with him before you cut away and make sure that's where he wants you to do so. Yeah, copy that. Thanks. Does anybody have any questions? I don't. Yeah, I'm going to need the password to get into the screen. 15195 for the port there, uh, Johan. No, yeah. I mean for the dispatching. Uh, I, know, like I, can, I can, was like talking to Johan. So, yeah, so we're doing exclusively helpers today. We're going to be going... I think I need the IP address and server name. We're going to be going up and down the mountain.
So, uh, right, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna be using Dash Nine. We're gonna be using Dash Nines today. Uh, now, uh, a uh, forewarning: these. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Five, no, no. Juan, you should have everything. This this skin. Where'd you book me? You have this battery. You should go throw that switch. Copy that. Thanks. This skin here, the patch and the sill stripe are. Hey, Jace. Not. Yeah. I don't have any of the information from you for anything. I'm not sure. All right, Roger. Wasn't sure if you had or not. Maybe we'll get this in a minute. But the. the Bryn, what's going on with you? I think I need the server name and IP address for the server. All right. Hold on a second. Uh, the weather. Yeah, I got it, Jason. Thank you. And the speed lettering and the bloody nose and everything. This is all default from the pack. So, but this is whoa. But this is a. You know, custom. one thing I'm just seeing track occupancies on it. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, ID on it. Cool. Those trains we started in the middle. They won't show up uh, until they actually get crewed. Yeah, okay. Copy that. Um, also, uh. Be a lot there's no here. external dispatcher to this thing. Nothing either. is good. <laughs> this would be good. I'm not seeing many non-clearing trains, so that's good. There's only two or three. Just enough to make it interesting. Now, yeah. this this UP skin, this is totally default. Yeah, I see so, one already. So you're getting, so this is what you would get from the Dash 9 pack. Must be a level with Dash 9s, Jace. Well, we, we sprinkled them in here and there. I mean, this is modern, so they wouldn't be, it's like the only unrealistic thing we did, but they just came out. So All right, 50 dot 29 dot 241 dot 76 is the IP address. Hey, Jason, just so you know, I am streaming, so there people are picking up the outstanding server info. And I'll poke you the password. Yeah, that's probably a better way to do that. So the UP skin is default. Um, so this is this is a little taste of what you would get with the Dash 9 pack itself out of the box. The, like I said, the SP unit, the weathering, and the the uh, everything else, the the patchwork is is custom. Because I like to show off some stuff. This uh, Dex is a uh, group of people uh, made that it's down there in the bottom. I typed it. The Chicago All right, Johan, Northwestern. You're next. You ready? Chicago Northwestern skin. Yes, sir. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute that for a minute. Chicago Northwestern skin is totally custom. This is not part of the Dash Nine pack. Not part of it at all. Uh, this is actually a, this would be a faded uh, UP, regular UP unit. But uh, they did a fine job. Uh, the, the, the enhancement guys did a fine job with these uh, Chicago Northwestern skins. And I really love the Chicago Northwestern Dash 9s, so I had to have it. So that's what I went with. Um, also today we're going to, these units have, our leader right out of the gate has... Um, the gauge is on one end, and this unit up here has MFD screens on this end. So we're going to get a little taste of both, and there's a non-working PTC screen. The speedometer works, but so we'll get a little bit of both. These are all desktops right now. Um, I know I showed off a little bit of the Dash 9s when the game released, but these are all the new, you know, these are all your new ones and everything. So you've got some th the neat features and Things like that. I haven't even set the engines up or even started them yet, so. Is that on, by the way? Oh, it must not work. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, they're nice units. They're, they're, not, they're, not much, they're not much different from the, uh, you know, in terms of the features of the default one. Oh, Dex, you're gonna send the new truck sounds. Oh, maybe we'll show off the new truck sounds then too. We might, we might have to back out. Throw the new truck sounds in. But these are the Dash Nines. There was also User entered your channel. Um, uh, trying to think. There was another SP one which was clean. It was like totally like pristine. It's it's a really nice looking one too. It's also in speed lettering, pristine. And uh, let, me, let me let me take a look. That's also the other thing too. There was another Dash Nine pack was released not long after that. So you actually have. Let me drop these in real quick, because now you can do this. Let me, so, well, let me see if this is out. I'm going to mute Jason for a minute here so we can check these out. Um, let's, let's just drop these in real quick. I don't know if I replaced any of these yet. Oh, 
tracks not clear. Let me go to this end of the later. Up here. Let's try this. Hey, there we go. Um, now the trucks are wrong because I have another. I have another truck texture installed to work with some other units. So don't bear that any mind. Anybody know how to get rid of these or minimize these little uh, messages User that come up your on, on the left? User entered your channel. Like the signal calls and stuff? Well, it says like, you know, Chris TH back has attempted to spawn a train in the world, that kind of stuff. It can, it can really start polluting the screen. Uh, you can change... Oh, shoot, I gotta find it. You can change the timeout on it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, it's on F1 or something, isn't it? Not anymore. Um, yeah. You oh, can also just message. use control tab to turn them off. Oh, control tab will? That'll turn it off completely. One, if, you one go, cool. if you go up to Chris, same if Wyatt doesn't show up, you're going to take uh, Bakersfield, because I don't know where he's at. Alright. Uh, I'm crewed on to my train. And just stay there until we start. Hey, Juan. Go ahead. If you want, if you want the messages, if you go to Sim Options, hover over the upper left, Sim Options, go down to gotcha. Message Options. There's a fade out thing there, so you can drop that you can adjust that as necessary okay so i'm at sim options it's in graphics or where is it no sim options and then there's a drop down it should and you have message options in that menu okay and copy you, that thank yeah. you yep so here are the here's oh, the bnsf ones Thanks, they bro. dropped this is unpatched santa fe in the uh Mr. Flynn. super fleet scheme yes, how are you? You? slightly weathered you know how pink the overwhelmed at the moment the dash nine's got yeah, I'm sure you are. Juan, I'm going to drop you down. Copy that. Clean AC unit. Orange, uh, orange awnings. User was moved out of your so channel. They've seen Hello, some, Jason. They've seen their aid. Hey, how you go? Yeah, I could make uh, it. Standard Actually, BNSF uh, I uh, dash I, line. You know, gold wing cabs. The all the Santa Fe ones have gold wing cabs. You see right there. And then uh, a fake bonnet type. Dash nine. Like I said, the trucks are wrong because I have a different truck User texture was moved out of installed. Your channel. So don't worry about that. When you get them, they will have silver trucks. So, but that's uh, and they got a little weathering on, little little dirt, little grudge, grunge on there. So, uh, yeah, they did a really good job. I know some people have had some minor complaints about them, like the Santa Fe font on the front wasn't the right height, and so it depends on your level of ribbon counterness, depending on how how hardcore you are about your Santa Fe stuff, user but, user your channel. Moved out of your but channel. these units are pretty good. User left um, your channel. I have a link in the description if you're seeing them for the first time and want to pick them up. Uh, you can get them down below. They're in two different packs. User left your channel. SPUP stuff's in pack one. The BNSF Santa Fe stuff's in pack two. I believe they're 20 bucks a piece. Um, but they're good units. So uh, let me go up here. I'll show you the gauges in this one real quick. But the gauges here, you've got... Um, you know, get your flow meter. I think the Santa Fe ones don't have User a flow was meter. moved out of your channel. Uh, head end box, gauges, you know, uh, analog speedometer. User joined your channel. Analog uh, ammeter. So. User joined your channel. Got the cool features. So, cooler for the water. There's also a refrigerator. So, so neat, neat, neat interior feature. So now we're just going to wait for Jason to um, let us know what's going on. Uh, Dex, if you're going to drop your new truck sounds, hit them up to me on the Discord, and I'll back out and throw them in real quick, because I would love to try them. would love to try them. So, uh, so if you guys have been here before during the call board sessions, sometimes this is a waiting game, waiting for something to happen. So just, um... Mr. Again. We're just going to try to hang yes, out sir. until we get our first train. In our... 8532. You're in North End of Plata. Oh, that might be my first train. 8532, that's right here. And one more time, Jace, where was it at? North End of Plata. Roger. Matt, I'm going to get passwords for these channels as soon as I can, guys. I just need a minute. Matt, if you want to, just spawn directly to me. I'm standing right next to it. User was moved out of your Roger. channel. Matt, have a safe trip. Thank you, sir. So, uh, also, too, we have, uh, we'll have custom horns. Actually, I'll show these off real quick. Uh, SPN, I got a P3. So we got a P3. 
got a nice P3 on there, GE Bell. Uh, the which I'm hoping we get some road crossings, and then the Chicago Northwestern units were delivered with the K5H. So. User <laughs> And we have a different kind of bell. So we are pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start firing the engines up so we have a little noise to listen to. Uh, let's see here. R-E-G-I-O, are you here? Oh, wait, i got to change this. I forgot to. Uh, oh, wait, let me just do this. Let's cut it in from the rail driver. Cut in, cut out. Hey, David. Michael, you said you're just gonna watch? No, I would like to run a local today. If you wanna run, okay, cool. Uh, let's see, so there's matches. I think these are all up. Okay. Huh. Um You were moved. Oh, I was moved. I don't know why it keeps kicking me out. Oop. Um, did you copy and paste the password? I typed it in. Okay, because sometimes it throws an extra space in there, and that will kill it. That'll kill it. Right, so well, it's like I get into the server, and then it like tries to think about it, and then it kicks me out. Also, the mouse is jumping everywhere, too. That's not me. This seems to have been an issue lately with Run 8 is that the mouse, the mouse is kind of finicky. So. Okay, so we got this all fired up. Everything sound is the, is the is the sim too quiet now? Am I too loud? How how are we sounding here? I didn't realize we were having sound difficulties. I think uh, I think they're gonna do uh, get an Eastern Dash Nine pack here uh, soon. I, I'm gonna assume that's the next one.
like white my shirt up. User left your channel. Changing the time. Uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be. It's gonna be 4 a.m. now. So we're gonna simulate an all-day thing. All right, so we can do a, a gentle further reduction. Here. There we go. Further reduction. So that's good. Release the automatic and independent application. Okay, we're good. Good break test. I'm gonna hop back up in here. Omaha 254, over. P. Omaha, Spatcher 254, go ahead, over. Yeah, this is uh, SP 8101. 
uh, on the HBKBK2. Uh, we're at the uh, north end of Fleda. Three units, helper service, User and we're ready to go. And I got a GTB number when you're ready. All right, copy that. First of all, uh, you're the helpers over at Fleet over? Yes, we are the helpers at Fleet. Who are you? Uh, do you have somebody that you're going to be shoving right now? I was not told anything about that. I just want to let you know we're ready to go here in case you do have somebody. Oh, okay. Copy that. I just was wondering if uh, the, the quarter manager had set you up with somebody that I wasn't aware of. Okay. Uh, go ahead with your GTB number. Over. Working with GTB number 26035. Over. Okay, uh, and what was your lead motor over? Our, the north unit is SP8101, and I get you the other one if you need the south leader. Yeah, uh, you'll be going on. All right, SP8101, GTP number 26035, I show that's valid, over. All right, Roger on a good bulletin. We'll be uh, standing by here at north end of Fleda in the siding. Copy that, north end of Fleda, uh, you're in that little set out. Uh, are you in the... Second here. I'm in the I'm in the actual siding, the thirteen thousand foot siding area in Plata. I'm just we're like right there at the signal. Okay, copy that. That's a that's not a CTC siding. That's that manual siding there. Okay, copy that. I do have a. Let's see what's going on in the CP eighty five thirty two. I'll be right back with you. It's about to Roger. Yeah, Matt. We're, this is Flata. Yeah, copy that. I got you. Chris, where, which, um, because I don't come over here too, too often, where, which dispatch board can I look at it just to get the idea? Uh, I just want to uh, see where we're at. BNSF UP Mojave sub, if you come down to the middle of the page, you'll see Mojave, and to the very right, it's, it's in, it's in dictator mode, so you can't see anything, but you're that red track occupancy there at Mojave. Okay. I see it now. Turn mile post tags on, it's not showing anything, that's why I asked. Yeah, that signal right in front of you is Flata, and if you're using the depot map, we're on channel. page 6 of the depot map. Notch. Did I give it 8112 to anybody? At Sanborn? Good. User left your channel. Hey Jason, I, I, that IL, ILTLC, the 13th in Saco, I don't find him on that sheet. He's gone, Juan. He went back up. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I might, let's see here. We might bail out here for a second and we might get Dex's new track sounds. was moved to your channel. Okay, we're going to... I'll worry about the textures later. This is going to be an easy fix. Okay, so... Alright, bear with me here one second, guys. Change this up real quick. Super sevens for the win, by the way. Um, let's see here. Download. UP Omaha dispatcher 254 to the UP 8532 North bank. at uh, Mojave, the Z train yes. over. Answering User dispatch 254 over. Yeah, uh, about how long do you be ready to pull that over? I was just getting ready to give you a call over. All right. Trucks. Uh, signal indication user there, Mojave, I'm just verifying, channel. I wouldn't assume so, but just confirming you do not need helpers, over. Back us up real quick. I do not, over. Copy that, alright, signal indication, we'll this, here we go uh, out. Let's go back, signal indication. back to the sim. You feel I'm on a dispatcher 254 to the BNSF 761 at cable, over. Uh, BNSF 761 answer, no. Yeah, about how long do you'll be ready to move, over. Uh, we're ready to go when uh, when he can take us out. Good 
Signal indication cable, thank you. Alright, signal indication cable. Uh, appreciate it. We have just dropped in Dex's, well, I guess it's actually Krellnuts? Krellnuts Truck Sounds, hosted by Divergent Clear Studios, which is Dex's studio. So thank you, Dex, for for all that. So we're going to go ahead and click this and join back in. Okay. All right. We, we're good now. All right. I'm not going to mess with the textures. That'll be... Now we gotta wait for our assignment. UPO Mod is dispatching 254 to the uh, SP 8101 uh, fleet of Helper. 8101, good. Yeah, uh, there is a train at uh, Ansel on the main. It's uh, I guess there's a crew coming out to it. Uh, that's the only thing I'm thinking you might need to shove. I don't see any DPUs in the rear. So as soon as I get a crew on board, I'll, uh, I'll advise you. But it's, I just want to get you, give you a heads up. Uh, that that would be the closest thing I can see so far, unless the Santa Fe gives me something they're going to need over. Okay, and you said they're at Ansel? Yeah, they're at Ansel right now. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, well, let me... Let me get a hold of the manager here and uh, the chief and uh, see if they're going to need helpers and where they're going to be recruited because I can also always get you down there and just have you uh, get on the end of them and Ansel. I'll get right back to you. Okay, Roger, stand by. Emergency, 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 man. It's up 761. Emergency. <laughs> Go ahead with emergency traffic there, man. Yeah, it's uh, 761 over here. Yeah, it looks like it dumped from the rear. Uh, we're going to see uh, if we can get it back up. Over. All right, confirming your location is uh, you're just north of Cable there. Are you st you're still on the OS and Cable, is that correct? User will yeah, that's correct. To your channel. All right, copy that. Where is Ansel? Juan, where on earth is Ansel? I cannot. I can't think of where it is. It's just south of Fleet of there. First sighting south of Fleet. Oh, that's a UP thing. Okay. Copy that. Yes, yeah, since you're the S SP helper, I'm affirming you're on the UP, right? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the UP. I, I made sure to not <laughs> intermix BNSF with UP stuff like that. <laughs> no problem, man. I can't wait to see how many people comment on your stream how I kept rolling backwards. Well, like, I, I noticed you were there, and then I could, I think I, there's, I think it's a bug. I could hear your EOT beep, and then I look up, and you're rolling back. And then I look back, yeah. and your tag's gone. I'm like, how far did he go? Well, it might have helped if I put my engines in forward instead of staying in neutral. Yeah, that's, usually that's the first step. Yeah. <laughs> User was moved to your channel. BNS, uh, UPO on dispatch at 254 to BNSF 761 over. 761 answer. Just so I understand that, uh, are you getting your air back up over? Are you recovering your air over? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we're recovering air. Okay, and I just, uh, I'm going to assume here that you were in dynamics going down there and then it uh, went into UDE. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Did you have any air set? If so, how much? Oh, the flat spots on Dex is sound. Uh, first Dex! Six, well, I guess that's All actually right, so probably not. Minimum set, and you know about what uh, 
position you were in dynamics for that? Uh, I believe, uh, break did okay. All right, copy that. Uh, let me know when you're on the move oh, there and you're on the rail. Good. All right, Roger, uh, we'll call the exit in. Didn't set 769. Yeah, watch it before. He's spread the street. You can try and call in to uh, try and get light. Alright, thank you. Y'all have a good one. UP 4400 DST 5 Yomaha is patching 254. Sir, UP 4400 on the HBK BK01 today. Uh, just got on our power here. I'd say it's on the stub track, Calient. It's a mile long track, starting to call the stub. Uh, Rockin' Bulletin 26002, six messages. Alright, Bob, go back up to the lobby. Sorry, Juan. Bob, go back up to the lobby and come back in and uh, type it for the password. Juan is the man. You talking to me, Jason? Yeah, go back up to the lobby, come back into this channel, type in Juan is the man for the password, all lowercase. Okay. Oh, I'm so, so glad I changed these. Uh, call me, uh, number just called you where Kelly had to. Alright, uh, give me your lead motor that you're going to be using on that open. Uh, current leader to go up the mountain is UP4400. Alright, you'd be 4400, you are in Kelly and Yeah, that's correct. We're on this, uh, this third track here. Stop in track. Alright, uh, copy that. I'll, uh, I'm not seeing anything right now, but I'm going to get my feet wet here and see what I might need you for. And, uh, if it's anything pretty heavy, I might move you down to the speed and get on it. But uh, I'll get right back to you. Alright, sounds like a plan. We'll take our speed up. Have a good time. Alright, thank you, Spence. Fit you four out. Alright, Matt, you're, Matt, you're all by me. Look good. User left Roger, control. thank you, sir. P5-32L. BNSF 8486. Dispatcher 254. Yomas, Patrick 54. Go ahead, over. Yeah, just an FYI, a pair of helpers here at the South Edison, over. Alright, BNSF helpers at South Edison. What's your lead motor, over? BNSF 8486. Alright, BSF helper number 8486, and you are at Edison, over. That's correct, south and uh, on the west side. Alright, copy that. I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I see something that you might be able to shove over. Alright, I think the corridor should sound about helping. Uh, Engineer Dave. Oh yeah, I'm assuming he'll be coming out of the yard then. Okay, uh, I'll get right back to here. I'll... Roger, we'll sit tight.
hang out till we get our assignment, I guess. That's going to be our first thing. User joined your channel. Nobody knows what that means. I don't understand that. We 
you young people in your hip language. Next one, Juan, and uh, Mr. Mr. Flynn just left. So as soon as he comes back, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I was just thinking, a uh, helper just said, uh, uh, are we still going to do that rear end set out there? Yeah. Uh, helper had a good idea about, uh, well, how big's that set out there? Out there? Uh, like a quarter of the train, a thousand feet, I think it is. So, uh, will he need helpers after the setup? He will. Okay, so copy, copy that. that. That'll be your first one. Okay, so uh, I'm going to scoot him down to and sell the siding there, and he can communicate he with them, them and they can get the helpers, helpers on, on there. there. Right. Like I said, they don't have a, I don't have a proof of that yet. It's next. Okay, but I get him down there. You yeah, and, uh, he, can, yeah. And he has a good idea that uh, he can work with the headache crew and uh, even uh, do that set out for me. Fine. Copy that. Guys, have fun. Have a safe trip. We'll be talking throughout the day, okay? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Do. User left your channel. We all want to dispatch her 254 to the SP 8101 uh, fleet of helpers. 8101. All right, talk to the boss here. Uh, we're gonna get you down to uh, Ansel, and then uh, that the recruits uh, should should be out there soon. You can coordinate with them as far as uh, getting your helpers on with them, and then you're gonna we'll have you shove them up to Mojave. You guys. Can Coordinate on that set out. We're going to still do the set out, and they are going to need helpers even after the set out. So when you're ready for some authority, I'll get you out on the main there and get you down to Ansel. Okay, all right, I copied all that, and I'm ready, uh, ready to go right now. All right, SP8101 at Fleeta. You have authority on the main track between uh, CP Mojave and CP North Ansel. That's for a south. That's a UTH bound move. SP8101 has authority to open up and occupy the main track between CP Mojave and CP North Ansel for a south, uh, southward move over. That is correct, your SP8101. And when you're out on the main there, uh, all lined and locked behind you, moving south, let me know. All right, let's know we're all lined and locked. Copy that. Uh, go on 254 out. All right, here we go, finally. was moved out of your channel. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull down here on the other side of this intermediate so I can get a good signal going back so I don't have to run restricted speed all the way to the next one. Hey, Chris. Yeah. I have your stream over here. Where, where, uh, what horn is that? The actual like file name of it? Uh, just what it is in general, and if, if I can get it somewhere. Uh, it's it's a P3. It's up on my uh, enhancement website. Roger. Okay. Now okay, we're gonna have to change ends too. So. gauges your channel. so just to make sure we've got you know everything's okay with the air and all that uh, so here comes release watching our brake cylinder pressure here right now okay full release here comes 
Just automatic application. Okay, cylinder applied, so that's an application. It comes the bail off. Good bail, uh, further reduction of the automatic. Release the automatic. And an independent application. Okay, good brake test. Is there a camera manual? Oh, that's right. UP 9830, Omaha 254, over. UP Omaha Spatcher 254, go ahead, over. Yeah, this is the uh, Flata helper. Uh, we're south here at Flata. Uh, north end of Flata siding, lined and locked normal, and our new leader going south is the UP 9830. Okay, 9830. Okay, here's the plan. Uh, single indication, I'm going to put you in the siding and Ansel. As soon as the outbound crew gets on that uh, train on the main there, have a job briefing with them. As soon as you're done with your job briefing, let me know. I'll give you the light out of the siding on the main. I'll bend the switch and I'll flag you back up against their train. You guys can do your thing. Okay, so you want us in the siding at Ansel and go all the way to the south end, and then we'll sit there and wait for the crew to come on duty, and then uh, once everybody's in position, we'll come out and tie on to them out on the main. Yeah, that is correct. Once you've had a job briefing, let me know. I'll give you the light. You'll go out in the main. I'll have to bend the switch. Now I'm going to have to flag you and give you a verbal authority uh, past that stop signal to come back up against them, and then you guys can do your helper thing. And but when you're ready, let me know, and we'll give you the light and start shoving north over. Okay, already in the siding Ansel, and we'll talk to you after we've had a job briefing with the head end crew. Copy that, now that is correct. You'll be on my hospital 254. Right. What's the light power speed? Ah, uh, you're safe that, uh, out there, you're safe at 55 zero. Your head's gonna show you 70. Yeah, that's why I asked, because I figured 70 was a tad unrealistic for the light power. I, I don't quote me out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do what an intermodal would. I think it's 60 out there, but heck, you're not going far. 50 will work. Yeah, that's why I'm not worried about it. <laughs> if I was doing like 20, 25 miles, I might consider it, but nah, just a rough dance, it's not that bad. Well, believe me, if it's that long, I'd want you out of there as soon as I could, so <laughs> I would, uh, I'd get you to the maximum.
Good. You get that light there out of the helper pocket, uh, the OS there at uh, Caliente? Yep, just came up green for us. Copy that signal indication. Let me know when you're uh, south of uh, Caliente there, and I'll bend the switch, get the light going back north over. All right, yeah, we'll give you a call once we're all south of the switch, south of the light, and uh, we're going to move on them. Copy that, Spectre 54 out now.
WCPT. Juan, what's PT in the destination for this train? Portland. Portland, oh, okay. I think. <laughs> My guess. That's, that makes sense, good enough.
I got me that. If you uh, uh, job briefing with the crew there on that uh, train on the main there, I have not. No one, uh, nobody uh, was on it when we went by it. All right, copy that. Let me know when you uh, have that job briefing with them, and we'll get you out the main over. Is that okay, Red? Got you 254 out. Yeah, Chris is the passenger crew. If you want to turn to runner action off. I already did it. Roger. Okay, I'm interested to see how this helper thing works out. Yeah, but I'm only going to stay down here and talk to you guys regular until we figure these helpers out, and then I'm going to go away. NSF 769, can you be, uh, it's be 4400, uh, train looks good, uh, power looks good, over. No, I'd still let him watch now. Where would I find crew interaction? Under your, sir, under the server's tab. Box, oh, right below it.
Wait, stand by. All right, tonnage is 11,039. That's 11039. 73 loads, 73, 43 empties, 43. Uh, the length is uh, 7,623, 7623. And we are currently at 1.6 HPT over. Okay, I got all that. Thank you. It'd be all my smash of 254, the UP 7592, Quantico over. UP 7592, so go ahead. Yeah, let me know when you're ready for your authority. We'll get you out there, over. I'm ready. Over. All right, UP 7592 at Quantico. You have authority to enter main tracks number two, TWO, and number one, O and E, for a south SOUTH bound movement on main track number one, O and E. And that's between CP Kern Junction and CP Sandcut. Over. Okay, you guys should now have the updated okay, stats uh, of the train I am shoving right now. has authority so. to enter main two, cross over to main one uh, for southbound movement on main one between current junction and sand cut over. Yeah, that is correct there to the P7592. Also, when you are uh, all occupied on main track number one and proceeding south and line the lock behind you, please advise me over. Okay, we will advise you to once we're uh, on to main track one and also to the line and lock over. That is correct, Spatry 254 on time. NSF 
we've got an application there because the red needle moves so the brake pipe something in the sim that lets you know if you've gone by a red? Yeah, now it'll now it'll tell you when you run a, an absolute red signal. <laughs> then there's also there's a file too in the content folder that it, it, uh, it keeps track of all of your stats and everything, how long you've used every engine and and how much fuel you burned. And it'll tell you how many times you passed the stop signal. Uh, okay, uh, it, it's bugged though. I mean, I, it tells me I run stops on the Iron Branch and on the uh, Buttonville Branch where there are no signals. So it tells me I'm running absolute red. So. <laughs> Running stop signals in dark territory, that's that's a new one. It's management's way of getting ready and reducing the cruise. Yeah, we're all gonna go to fight here. I'm like getting told I'm running red signals while I'm on a receiving track in Waycross. Yeah, hey, this, cool. yeah. this sim gets more realistic every day. Okay. Alright, this is the moment of truth, guys. We'll see how well this works. Okay, close the angle cock. Move the EOT, okay. I'm going to get on the head end here. User was moved to your channel. Sign on here, stay inside the cab, do not leave the cab. We'll stay in the cab. Okay, we found that's that's a very important step we need to take. Come on, he's dashed on So you show up on my screen as a DP now, uh, but you set it down there as a helper? Yeah, I've got, like now it says I have helper unit control, so I am now independently in control of my units. Okay, the uh, indication for your unit has now gone yellow, so that's good. Oh, now it's back normal. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in and out of the cab, that's why. I see, okay. 
Yeah, and then while you're in and out, of, like if you're outside of the cab and you're on a helper, you don't have control of the units. Like I just tried to change the headlights. I had to go back in the cab to get the headlight. Okay, all right, good to go. All right, so we're going to connect the hoses. Let's open the angle cock. Omaha 254 UP 7592. Joe Moss, Patrick 254, answering uh, Bakersfield radio. Over. Okay, uh, we're now completely on main one. All switch uh, switches on main one and main two between Kern, uh, CP Kern Junction and CP okay, Zen Cut are lined to lock for main line yes, travel. See, over. we got a reduction here. We got eight Copy pounds that. on the pipe. Uh, so we did it. It's right. Copy that. You uh, 7592. Uh, going up the sand cut, as soon as I can, I'll get you the light. Right now, that helper's clearing up, so I can't get you the light on in there, but uh, go on it. Go ahead, go down on the sand cut, and give me a call over. Okay, we'll proceed to sand cut over. That is correct, it's about your 54 hour. UP 8248, okay to drop the uh, SP 8101 conductors three step. You got enough for a test, Jack. Stand by, we'll drop the three step. Okay, uh, we're ready for a test. Roger, ready for it. What's your HPT showing, Jack? I've got my second one isolated here. Uh, right now we're showing 2.9, over. Okay, all right, I'll leave that second one knocked down then. I, we, we should need it. Okay, uh, 8248, I got a reduction. All right, I'm showing a uh, brake pipe at 65, over. Alright, here comes a release. Alright. Alright, I'm getting a release. You got a signal for a jack, we'll start out here. Alright, UP 8246 North calling uh, DS 254. PO Boss Patrick 254 answering Ansel Radio. Okay, we're on main one, uh, looking for a light at SP-389, northbound, over. All right, UP-8248, confirming helpers off. Tucked onto the rear of your train, you're ready to move north, over. That is correct, we're tucked on, tested, ready to go, over. Copy that signal indication, north into Ansel, and uh, I have a train going through uh, northbound in Mojave now, you see a little color up there, but after he clears the block ahead, look for your light, over. Roger that, we have a clear signal, and we're okay to proceed, thank you. Patrick, take it. Four out. 48 out. All right, Chris, here we go. All right, Roger, I'm leading, Jack. All right, boys, here we go. You be 4400, DS 254. Come on, dispatch 254, over. Sir, 4400, all tucked away here in the power pocket in Vina. Uh, all our hand throws between sand cut and Vina on main 1 0 and each track or uh, line alive normal. Over. Copy that, all right, you're gonna be shoving the uh, UP7592. Uh, He's out of Quantico, moving uh, uh, south now. Uh, as soon as he gets by you, you guys just coordinate your uh, your moves that you wanna do, and then uh, I'll have the helper get a hold of me and I'll get him some authority out there. All right, sounds like this is so up. cool. I can't believe this is Copy that. Uh, Gail Mosspatcher, uh, 254, the being a helper, is UP4400. 4,400. Out of curiosity, out of curiosity, what are your hours of service? Uh, you good for one shove or two, or what's it, what do you think over there? Good for as many shoves as you want, over. Okay, copy that. All right. All right, uh, let me know uh, when he's there and you're ready to come on out. It's about your 54 out there. Jack, I'm good with you not calling clears, but if you get an approach or like approach me, Yeah, I won't call clears, but we'll call everything less than clear. Over. Okay, I'm 
showing 21 mile an hour too, so make sure that's all right. Uh, yeah, 21 is correct, over. All right, sweet. How's that thing working so far, good? Yeah, we're coming out of here, no problem. Right on. All right, notch forward, the head end, over. Roger. I actually can't see my notches, so I'm kind of on the seat of my pants here. I have to watch the ammeter go up, that's how I know I've grabbed the notch. Fly-by-night operation. It, it kind of is, you kind of, you really got to pay attention. I notice if I do the track data on the HUD, the track speed doesn't come up. Yeah, see, I don't have any heads of display either. I can see the I can see the one that tells me the heading, the temperature, and the frames per second. I don't have any like train data or anything. Okay, Roger that. Okay, so we're just pushing 38 miles an hour, head ends and idle, over. Okay, uh, I think I'm in yeah, like maybe five or six back here right now. Uh, approach, medium, uh, three, four, one, point four. Uh, UP Omar is back at 254, UP 7592 south. Uh, just 
is kind of well. We got uh, we got a 45 coming up, so 75. Let's we'll bump the 45. So go ahead. I'm not. I'm not yeah, you, I do. You're, you're, you're on the head end there. I just want to make sure I know what I got to do back here. On to your rear, or are they going mid train? Yeah, head ends at notch three over. Okay. Uh, I, I've never done helpers before. I'm not sure what's best. Uh, UP Yamaha is better uh, 254 than being a helper. It's UP 4400. 4400. Yeah, I just I confirm we're going to put your helper is going to go to the rear end of that train over there. Rear end. Okay, it's better out there. UP Yamaha is better 254, UP 7592 over. UP 7592, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna put the helpers in your rear. I don't, I don't know how much uh, room you're gonna need to uh, get them on your rear. Pull up, pull up to the uh, as far as you can up to Bina. I might have to run another motor around you before I can give you the light to go through there in case you guys don't fit. But uh, pull up as far as you can to Bina. Hopefully they can fit behind you. If not, uh, get a hold of me and we'll work, work around that over. There. Okay, uh, pulling up to uh, meet as close as I can. Okay. That is correct. Chris, we've yeah, got an advance uh, approach at uh, 3855, over. As soon as you uh, get by that helper pocket, and, um, get a hold of your helpers and he'll let you know how, uh, if you if you get up far enough so you can uh, take your helpers there. Okay, yeah, these, these, four, four. Uh, uh, is it these helpers here, the, the, the ones that, uh, the Negative, uh, you're getting the ones at Vina, you're gonna come over Sanka and go down the hill there. There's a helper pocket in Vina. Uh, those helpers are the ones you're gonna take. I'm just concerned about... Uh, so he just about told me the, we're, he's on an advanced approach here, so I'm just going back and off, so we're not... You need to get through the OS Vina in order to make that move, and, uh, there's been a modal crawling up behind you, so I'm just trying to figure out whether I'm gonna run him around you, or whether you guys are gonna be able to do your move. So just let me know, Spectrum, before I'm... It's interesting because the, um, the DPU uh, screen shows you in seven. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be like when I, it's, it's acting on the screen like a regular DPU, you know, a bit of a delay when I'd make a change up here and then the, the tail end matches it. Huh, that's interesting what you can see. You can almost match your 254, you can get 248 normal. Okay, you can 248 to North Vance, over. Yeah, do you uh, have that signal to you there at uh, Mojave? Uh, we're just coming up to signal uh, 3331 at flat over. I copy that. I'm trying to get it for you for some reason. It's not like that. Uh, uh, just imagine we just got a clear signal. Just went from approach to clear over. Oh, copy that. It's back to 254 out. Thank you, sir. 848. I got that jack on a clear here. I'll come against you. On the clear. Good for 45. Uh, head ends in notch eight. Here it comes. Trying to get a run from the hill. Roger that. Hello, Hagen. Uh, the. Can I just look out? The head end thinks it's a DPU, but I mean, it's actually a man helper, so.
48 north showing 40, 4 knot miles an hour. Roger, that's what I got. Alright, hold on a second. UP-8248 North Advanced correct. Approach, BNF right, Junction, uh, slowing to 40, 4 knot, over. Roger, Advanced Approach. All right, signal indication. Thank you. 8909 now. Yeah. Venus, uh, 76, uh, 769, I look good, Mark. 8248 North, signal just bumped up to clear, 45 right. mile an hour, over. Clear. Clear. Uh, safe trip. Forty-eight north, uh, forty-five mile an hour speed board. Roger. This may end up being the fastest I've ever gone up this hill. That's why I left that second engine off. Yeah. Oh wait, did you say you say you can see the DP? Because you, you know you have a mid-train DPU, right? I did not. You know what? That's what I'm seeing then. Okay. Yeah, you got a mid-train. Just thought about that. All right. So when its indication went yellow earlier, maybe that was just a loss of calm. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, that should be eight right there. All right, Jack, I'm at eight back here. Ah, uh, eight on the head end as well, over. I show us losing speed about uh, points, uh, about six mile an hour per minute. All right. That should set us up pretty good for the uh, 35 mile an hour speed. Uh, UP 8248 North, advance approach. By the 45 mile hour speed, motor. Roger, ILTLC 10, train looks good as well. Safe trip. Well, we're still showing that uh, we're losing uh, nine mile an hour per minute here. I'm still an eight, so you can give us a bet.
354 with BNSF 769 south over. BNSF 769, go ahead over. Yes, right, sir, just curious, are you making track speed up the hill there? Uh, I'm just trying to plan something out here. Uh, just got back to Nanche from yeah, slowing down for like the stop signal on that cliff, so I think around 18 to 20 miles an hour, I think it's the <laughs> best we're going over. Alright, copy that, thanks for that, that was special. We're out there. Yeah, that's a 7 uh, UP 8248 North, Chris, we've got an approach and uh, I'm showing 22 miles an hour. We're still losing um, 4 miles an hour per minute. Over. Okay, on the approach and uh, we're still slowing down, right? That's correct, over. You I'm going to leave the head in and eat here, Chris. Four to the uh, okay. BNSF 8112 Z9, over. Yomaha Spectre 254 to the BNSF 8112 uh, North Open. BNSF 8112. Yes, sir, are you on the blocks? Uh, are you on that train ahead blocks? Over. Okay, uh, yeah, I have approach signal and, and no need to stop. Alright, copy that, so you're on his tail, that's just right. You're uh, up here at UPSC. Try to so take, it. To take this into consideration here. Okay, so you're on the train ahead, blocks. Uh, copy that, Spectre. Yes, in a Yes, it's David, I am, I'm pushing this train. I'm, I'm helping. UP 848 so north, north, passing signal 3793, approach. Uh, or. Hey, approach. Yeah, approach. Yeah, approach. Yeah, approach. Slipped. It might have just slipped right there. Here, notch down. Roger that 19 on the head end as well. I'm still in notch 8 and it's uh, about a mile and a half to the next signal. Over. Okay, let me know. UP uh, Almada's patch at 254, UP 7592. UP 7592, go ahead. Yes, push the whole yes, thing. Yes, sir, how close are you knocking down the signal? Notch, are you in back there, Chris? Yeah, this is the. Uh, oh, I'm in eight. All right, so we're pushing pretty hard. Uh, I'm pulling 227,000 pounds here in the head end. Okay. Go ahead there, UP 7592. Yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't sure what the signal was, but I can confirm this is kind of approaching it now. I'll be passing here momentarily. All right, copy that, thank you. Be on my 54 out. Yeah, we seem to stabilize right about there, 18 mile an hour. That's what I was thinking. It doesn't look like it's going to go much lower than that. Well, let's just keep giving it, and then if we come up on a, on a restricting or whatever, we can just kind of ease up. Yeah, well, I don't think we want to stop. <laughs> I would prefer not to. There's the head end up there. Chris, on a side note, did you have anything to do with the selection of the uh, new CLs? UP 75, nothing to do with advanced approach. Uh, just the voting process and all that. All right, I, I know that Mike K might have applied, and I'm surprised he didn't get chosen. It was a pretty thorough process. We just, you know, we interviewed everybody and, and all that, you know, just a pretty thorough process. It wasn't, you know, we didn't just do willy-nilly or anything. 
No, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. I just, I guess, I, I kind of assumed that he would get chosen for sure. Maybe that was my bad. What he's either. There's a lot of good applicants. Yeah, I bet it was. And that's just 8112. Trade looks good. Park right rear. Have a good trip. UP 8248 North, uh, on an approach, over. You know where we stopped to cut you off? Uh, when we get toward the top of the mountain, we'll talk to Juan and see where he wants us. He might want us to go all the way down the other side, too. Alrighty, we'll see what he wants. So, I, yeah, I'd wait till we're maybe uh, coming up toward Monolith and see what he wants to do. Roger that. Yeah, because he might, he could have me either go with you all the way down to Caliente. Or I might cut away and come back to Mojave. I don't know what he wants to do. Yeah, it could go either way. UPA 248 North by the speed board for 35 35.
Chris, do you have to deal with the alerter back there as well? No, my alerter doesn't work back here. Which I don't think it will because I'm not cut in. I don't think my real unit will work either. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, but I think it's, I think it's just cut out. It doesn't work, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Forty-eight North, clear signal. Yeah, it's nice that they clear. They extended uh, way long because in real life it was a small sighting.
it's the minus F train on uh, UPU tracks. Must call out. Okay, uh, what was that again there? Oh. Uh, which uh, thing that's uh, minus F train on UP tracks? Uh, must I call out? Yeah, anything that's not a clear. Over. Okay, six. That was my okay. question. Alright, copy that. UPU on my special. Be 
Marina, I'm going to run an intermodal around you, uh, another southbound, uh, and then uh, we'll talk over. All right, we'll give you a call once we're all cleared up. Copy that. You can be on my dispatch at 254 hour. You'll be 8532 BNSF 769. Train looks good. Marker splashing on the rear over. Uh, BNSF 769 to the BP 532. Train also looks good as well. Safety trip over. Roger, you do the same. 8532. North, clear signal. Roger, clear. That's Cameron, right? We are at Cameron, yes. Okay, Roger on the clear, Cameron. That signal is the advanced to Cameron, uh, uh, signal 3717, over. Three step four, UP 4400, conductor, drop. Alright, and uh, showing Nanya back here, you are ready to set it up.
break my pain free. I'm almost down my limit. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Uh, if Bob's on that train that's uh, going on the uh, UP Palmdale cutoff, how far is he going? Just a handful. Oh, okay, all right. A good idea putting some AIs out here, too. Woohoo! Okay, uh, UP 44 zero zero helper, uh, UP 75 92, the fast. Alright, yep, Sean, a good release back here. Uh, I guess we'll be shoving up a hill really briefly. You want to let us know when you guys are up against and we'll, uh, we'll start pulling you back. We got the approach back here. Okay, when we start pushing reverse up here? Yeah, start shoving on it, let me know when you're up against we'll start pulling. Sounds like it'd be fun. Okay. Might not be able to attend all of them, but of course, get that. 
sounds like a great idea. Sounds like you guys are having a blast. That's, that's awesome. Absolutely. I'll make it when I can. Oh, this is great, Jake. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Lots yeah. of work. Wyatt and I did lots and lots and lots of work. Good work is going to the news here. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'll shut up now. All right. Thank you. NSF 4818, approach medium, uh, cable crossover, main one. Correct, main two. and see what he wants to do with you.
Copy that. See, okay. Yeah, you'll see one up Marcel, one north, then we'll go. Alright, It's 55, but we got the 25 coming up yeah, the hill, so I was just going to drop her back to notch 6, over. We're in uh, notch four, over. Okay, Yeah, we're just gently coming down uh, 13 mile an hour per minute. Okay, I'm going to come up against you a little bit, keep the train watch up. Roger that. Oh, yeah, Peter, well, a lot of us are excited for Fitzgerald. It's going to be it's going to be great. The teasers Jason's putting out for the fence are perfect. It really makes me want to get it. I'm holding notch four here, and our speed's okay. coming down okay. nicely. South, correct okay. one. I'm, uh, I'm Stop. Back here too. Sand cut. Over. If you all want to spatch your 234 APA 8909 over. 8909, move it to spatch your. Alright, you're going to see one north there. Sand cut. And I'll let you the train ahead of what's going to happen here in a few minutes. Over. Okay, expect one north is there. Talk to me in a bit. That is correct. Oh, my inspection 254 up. EP 
Is there a detector got us here for uh, Axle 230? We're stopping to check it out. We'll let you know. Copy that, UP8592. Detector hit you. You'll advise. Over. That's right. Thank you. Dispatch 54 out. Uh, UP 8248 North at the speed for warning for 25 to 5. Warning for 25, Roger. And we are at Summit, over. Roger, you guys are at Summit. I'd like to target the 23, 23 mile an hour over. Okay, we'll shoot for 23. Gives us a little bit of a cushion. Roger that, I'm down to notch one now, over. Okay, I think I'm in like one or two. Yeah, the head end is just starting the downhill. to setting up Dynamax. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm still pushing on here. I think I'm in like two or three. Roger that. Keep your bunch of trouble. Color up 
there, most likely. Okay, sounds good, thank you. We all on dispatch at 254 out. All right, let's go. UT-8248 north by the 25 mile an hour board, over. That's a crowd, please. Uh, uh, just coming over the summit switch. Uh, so you're going to set those out with a couple other cars, too, for uh, obviously the braking power then, over. Uh, correct, yeah, two cars need to be cut out somewhere. Uh, are you anywhere near a set out track, over? Uh, I think Mojave's the closest thing. I guess we had no choice but to go down there and do that, then. Alright, uh, I'll let him know, and uh, we'll talk to Mojave when we get there. Yeah, uh... I don't... Have you said they're at the rear of the train? Nope. Yeah, they're... Probably 15, 20 cars from the rear. Yeah, shove it back in. All right, yeah, uh, let me know, and uh, I guess we'll have to uh, take those. There's no wheel sticking over or anything like that. Once you start moving, though, there just there just won't be any brakes on them. That correct? Or? That's right. All right, copy that. No flat spots, anything like that to worry about. Over. Uh, there are flat spots, and they're going to be a no-go. Show 23 back here, Jack. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, 23 here, I got to yeah, Dynamics in 5, over. Yeah, we'll whip them on down. We're not far from the yard. Oh, copy that. Some good news. All right, uh, let me know, and uh, I guess we'll have to... Uh... But you're probably going to want to then go south of uh, South Mojave, then shove those back up in there, is that correct, Oak? Yeah, probably be easier to pull by and shove it if you can get a track for us at Mojave. Right, copy that, Spencer, 254 up. What do you think our chances are of making this run with those setting in the air? 11,000 tons? I, I, I wouldn't chance it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you might know the mountain better than I do, but I, I, I personally wouldn't try it. UP 532, stop signal, CP holler, north out. I'll keep an eye on the speed when uh, Dynamics in 8 won't hold it, we'll start putting in some air. Okay. If things get hairy, I can grab a hold of you back here. Roger that. Have you got some DB on, over? No, I'm still leaning against you. I'm in one, I'm just keeping it bunched up. User joined your channel. Uh, stand more in there. Light him up. Yeah, I'm just waiting to contact you there. Yeah, you don't have to contact him. He's just going to light you up. Okay. All by the depot. Catch me. By the depot. Chris, do you want to maybe just put in a little bit of DB? Give me a bit of a stretch. Slow me down. Alright, give me a second. I'll grab it. Copy all that one. Yeah, copy that. Why don't you, uh, I don't want to mess up yard there. Get a hold of uh, the UP8 
8592 and let him know that he's got a couple bad orders he had set out. I didn't want to ruin uh, your yard there, so let him know where you want to put him over. Alright. Where's the uh, Jack, I got a hold of you. Roger that. We're just watching the speed here. We're holding around 23. We'll see. I'm in notch 8 on the, uh, on the DB over here. Okay, maybe give her just a little more, say three or four. Now, what was that about monolith? Down that second track with that over. Middle one. Maybe easy with the going the other way. Yeah, we're going to have to take a little Here comes the minimum reduction over. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, I don't want it. Towards the rear of the train, I don't want to have to have him shove them up Brakes hill and set them out. So he's gonna have to there's have some flat spot. spots on him and all that. So we're gonna have to put him somewhere where uh, and we have an advanced car department can get to him in the yard right. there. And I just didn't want Able to cross mess over. up your yard. Uh, rear so. or back hole, Pete. Well, I was thinking about maybe putting him on the Y there. I don't know if you're gonna need the Y. That's so fine you can get all well, not doing the big brand at all. I'll let him know he can put him on the Y then. I just didn't want to plug a yard track with two cars over. Thank you, sir. That's right. Roger that, I think that's a sweet spot right there. Graph is showing 2.17 grade downhill. UP8248 North has an approach signal. UP8500, you got much better. Before, go ahead, 8500. Start grabbing you a little harder. Yeah, let's slow her down a bit. Uh, Chris. Yeah, take him oh, south of South Mojave and then we'll shove him back into the yard. Uh, we can ditch him on the Y there. That way we don't have to plug up a yard track and I got the brake uh, pipe down to 80. Get to him pretty easy on the Y over. All right, pull him by shoving in uh, wide track. Do you know the man on duty? You know, uh, I don't know, but I know they're going to get someone out there pretty quick so that uh, 
south lane doesn't stay uh, uh, occupied all day. Over. All right. Uh, wide track bull, figure it out. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, yeah, and that's correct. Just need uh, two cars, two good brakes on them, and then uh, we'll the local deal with them later. Over. Yeah, Chris, I don't see the signal yet. We can try to hold it. All right, got it. Thank you. I got it all on back here. You got her all on, that's perfect. Ah, uh, there's a guy coming up the hill, so he's going to be going through the switch of cable. Alright. Alright, we're, we're going slow enough. I'm going to take the air off and charge him up, get a movement back. No? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that. We can, if it's if it's going to stall, we can. I can nudge you down a little bit. Yeah, I take a bit off then. Okay. Yeah, I got it all off up here. I got the brake pipe down to 80. I mean, if you come to a full stop and set the independence, maybe we can charge it up. What do you think? I, 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 I wouldn't because what'd you say? We're on like a 2.1 percent. Roger that. I have a feeling if you All take right. it, if you knock the air off, we're gonna take off. Okay, so let's um, yeah. If you want to give me a bit of a nudge, we're pushing against 10 pound reduction. Okay, yeah, here I'll come down against you. I'll give her a notch as well, maybe to one. I'm going to try to stream work. Uh, I, I did mention at the top of the, the show, but uh, yeah, work's been keeping me real busy lately, and uh, I haven't had much time to stream. I usually like to do it once a month, but. All right, head ends up to two. Roger that. Okay, the head end, we're moving at four mile an hour. Four. Roger. UPO Mod Dispatcher 254, UP 8248 North. Okay. Head end's in notch one, just creeping down at uh, 5.8 mile an hour. Ah, uh, UP uh, 8248 North answering, over. I'm just verifying your length. I'm showing it at 7846 feet, over. 7846 is correct, over. Copy that, dispatching 254 out. 8248 North, over. Alright, Chris, his tail end's just going by me here, so we can creep up to the signal just like this. I'll let you know when I see it, over. Oh, I think something just happened here. Yep, something just happened. 7592, train look good, have a good trip. Well, I got control of the train now, so I'm gonna sit here. Well, now I have help for control. Alright, yeah, we've dumped. Are we in the hole? We are in the hole. Shit, I wonder if we come apart. I would imagine. Okay, I got my independent on here. I got mine on as well. Uh, BNSF 8909, uh, they're, they're calling out with 5, Thank you, I'll let you know about yours when it's by. DS254, UP 8248 North, over. UPO Mosfetcher 254, UP 8248 North, over. Yeah, we're in an emergency here, uh, just, uh, just, uh, set up the cable crossover, just past signal 373575, over. Alright. UDE there, let me know if you hear it doesn't come up, over. Roger that. 
First, we're going to send the conductor back here to tie in some handbrakes. Uh, Yamaha Spatcher 254, the UP769, south over. First, I'm going to uh, tie on some handbrakes. Uh, I'm going to let me over. too. I'm Are you past that northbound? Yeah, now? you got handbrakes coming on there now. Uh, almost. Yeah, now I'm just about okay, past the office. Here. Okay, I'd be advised they're an emergency. Uh, no restricted speed by them until we know their uh, air is coming back. All right, I'm going to pop into the cab here and see what it is. Uh, copy that. I think. Yeah, it's up. It's not up. Out. Well, this is about as realistic as it gets. Train dumping on the mountain. <clears throat> okay, UP 8909. Chris, it looks uh, like we're in one piece. UP 7592 could roll by. I never noticed the airdrop back here at the rear. We must have, maybe we got a cutter. Alright, appreciate that. UP 8909 south out. Did you show an emergency on the heading? Yeah, dumped. Let me, let me go back to the rear. I, I put a few, I don't think I have enough on yet, but I, uh... Let me go back and see if the rear end dumped yet. Ah, see, I'm still showing... UP 8909 nine, approach. Nine pounds, is that? Outpost 329. That's crazy. Okay, well, let me hit EOT and see where I go. No, I go right back to you for EOT. Okay, so um, we're all, uh, we're all, I'm ready to uh, release the PCS uh, error. Let me see. How's it going, Rob? I, uh, UP 8592, uh, the NS70 will be 70 now. Right here, look. Good, I've got ten handbrakes on. I don't know how many you want to put on. Uh, we can use the cheat and put them all on. Uh, let's, uh, well, we may not have to. If I put a few on, you put a few on. It might be enough to hold it. You know what it looks like here? If I look at the graph above in the HUD, uh, everything between me and the uh, DPU is uh, dumped, and everything behind that is not. Okay, let me walk up to the DP then. I got calm with the DP right now, anyway. Well, I hear air back here. Hold on. Yeah, hose come apart right here. Man, just like real life. Dispatcher 254, the uh, BNSF 4818 North over. Alright, we better watch this thing, make sure it's all good. Okay, heads up for you, you're gonna go in for one cliff, uh, one of your meetings. Alright, I'll start walking from this end. Or at least fly over and make sure Copy, everything's good. Uh, I'm gonna head toward the DP. I'm gonna join the channel. I'm gonna join the out. 4818 up. I'm gonna walk this real quick here. Okay, let's see here. I bet what happened was that something came apart. UPL Monospatch 254, UP 8909 South over. And we coupled back together or something. 8909 South. That could be. Yeah, is that last signal you passed, did you say that was an approach over? I'm just walking yeah, listening right, for air. Yeah, approach signal. All right, I'm going to get that called in the signal department because from what I'm seeing, uh, I don't see a track light out there or anything like that, so I'll get that called on in. Over. Okay, I appreciate it. Just so you know, uh, coming up on a signal here at south end of uh, Ilman, and I'm showing a diverging clear over. That's correct. That's why I didn't think that approach was right. Okay, we'll get that called in the signal department. Thank you for that. Uh, Spatch 254 out. UP 8909 south out. User left your channel. We got a whole whack of empty bulkhead flats here in the middle as well. I, I noticed that when we 
when I went by it to tie on to there. <laughs> I saw them center beams in the middle. You feel my dispatch at 254, you'd be 7592 south over. I walked up to the DP jacket. I think we might be all together now. All right, I'm just coming DP up to the DP now. Go ahead. Yeah, that, uh, be advised that intermediate, uh, north of, uh, CP Omen there, uh, Okay, well, didn't give, uh, I think my, D, uh, my PCS air is timed out, so Let I can do a release. We got handbrakes on, we got independence correct over. Have at Omen there, over. Yeah, that's right. All right, here comes a release. Okay, I'll let you know what I see at Omen. Yeah, I'll be the intermediate just north of Omen. So, that, in other words, the first intermediate you come up to before Omen, let me know what it's showing and what you get at Omen, over. Our uh, brake pipe's coming up uh, 3840. Okay, we'll do. All right, dispatch 254 out. Flows 150. Okay, I'm showing. Uh, 4400 helper. This is uh, UE 5992. Uh, so that over. Brake pipe showing about 45. There, it's coming up. All right, yeah, you're getting a release back here. It's charging slowly. Yeah, he's charging. Now it's interesting if I look at my uh, my DP unit on the MFD screen here. Um, it's trail is 48 pounds coming up slow though. Okay. Kilmas Batcher 254 UP 8248 at cable over. 8248 answering over. Uh, did you guys get your air back up from that though? Yeah, we're just pumping up there now. It looks like we might have had a hose bag come apart. It didn't look like we broke apart. Um, so we're just pumping up now. We'll let you know when we're ready to go over. I right, copy that. Thank you, Batcher. UP 4400 helpers, this is the UP 7592 southbound, over. Uh, yep, we got uh, 89 in the brake pipe up here. Now the uh, brake pipe back at the DP unit shows me 66, and the main reservoir is only at uh, 67, so there's something funny going on there. Okay, maybe just give it a minute, let it, let it charge up. Yeah, I got a notch too, just to pump it up here. Okay, and then before we knock the brakes off, we should do a set and release, just to make sure everything's all good. Yep, roger that. UP 4400 helper assistant, UP 7592 southbound, over. Chris, I'm just going AFK for a sec, gotta go up and take a whiz. Okay. Come on, 
54, train emergency, what's your location on? On the main here at uh, Caliente, over. I'm back, Chris. So the uh, the brake pipe Copy for the that. DP You're coming up over. is showing 73. So she's uh, pumping up real slow. I have to walk back and check it out. All right. See what I got. She's Bye coming, man. though. She's Bye. coming slow, but sure. Uh, sure. E532L. Yomas, back As long to as it's coming up, it's all the matter. 254 to the BNSF 8112. No, no. User joined your channel. BNSF 8112, hold up. Can you get stopped for... Uh, Allard there, over. You know this? 8112? Yeah, I can stop and pull it. Alright, uh, so, uh, BNSF 8112, I have permission to knock down the signal at, uh, Allard, uh, change that indication to stop for you, then over. Uh, yeah, that's correct, BNSF 8112, over. Alright, copy that, thanks. Train ahead's an emergency. I don't know what we're gonna have to do there. I just wanna keep my options open, so I'm gonna knock down the signal of Allard and then uh, I'll get you going as soon as I can. Oh wow, 254 out. Been there, 8112, okay. Uh, Chris, I just got a DPU error over. VLCBR11. Uh, oh, it's, it's back. 254 over. <laughs> Come on, 254 don't say, go ahead, over. Don't say that. I just want to know, conductor walked back, we got one on the ground here. Oh, Air hose no. Split. We're going to uh, try and recover the air and see what we can get, uh, see if we can get it back on the rail, too. Confirm, you have a car on the ground, though? Got one on the ground, yes. All right, I need to get maintenance way out there. I'm going to have to the track, too. Uh, <laughs> I'll go one. All right, I have a Roadmaster en route out there, so... We'll talk to you, and then I'm gonna have to... Alright, uh, get all the uh, Roadmaster Gregory will be out there to meet you, and then we'll go from there. Alright, the Roadmaster will be meeting me out here at Caliente, thank you much. 8532L. Also, uh, DP brake pipe no has 81. Spills, no injuries, uh, nothing right. like that. Over. No hazmats, no spills. Over. No injuries. Alright, copy that. special. UP 8592 254. Pure Moss Magic 254, go ahead over. Just keeping you on your toes. Uh, behind the signal here, South Mojave, you need to fly into the yard when you can, please. Alright, uh, yeah, stand by there. We'll get you this weekend. Here we go, thank you. Now it's getting good. Yeah, <laughs> just like real life. I got that DPU error coming and going. Playing again. Yes, sir. Are you standing in front of it? I am. Jack, we could try to set and release here if you want to. Well, I've only got 84 in the main reservoir in the DP, so I don't know if we're going to have any luck there, are we? Yeah, the uh, the main reservoir and the brake pipe pressures are matching, so uh, she's not up to wall. snuff yet. Pretty good. Sure looks that way. Okay, I guess this session's over. <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna back on the ground and assess the damage. It's a roadmaster's job, you tell me. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna do it here. All right. Well, there will be a slow order over that for at least the first train. Yeah, I'll give that a minute. PTI get up here to cable to get us off here. Yeah. Forward, Mr. Flanagan. I have to recover the air real quick. Roger, oh, Gregory. Gregory. So the flow on the head end here, Mark, is down to 29, so we're looking good here. Um, I can't see the flow for the DP, but uh, it's at 88 now, main reservoir and brake pipe. Go ahead, there. Did you lose calm with the DP? No, she's back. It comes and goes, but I got calm right now. Uh, 
the mop of the Well, it's coming up. Yeah, they're at 89 now. I'm hoping when the brake pipes at 89, the flow will stop and the main res should come right up. You're on a Four, UP 8592. Uh, David, we went to emergency. Stop it. 8592. Talk yeah. to me. Did they get, uh, did you get a proceed into the yard there? Yeah, Connector just called restricting, so we're gonna, he's back in there, see if we'll be fine. Copy that, yeah, I just, it was, give me some bits about lighting up for you, I just want to make sure you have it there. Alright, dispatcher 254 out. Better be out of the chair for a second and talk to the chief, folk. Yeah, David, it went into emergency stopping the cable, and so we had to tie the train down. Turn back there, Mr. Gregory. And we're pumping it back up. You are on. Give me a 10 mile per hour forward. Roger. Taking it ahead 10 mile an hour. Okay, DPU brake pipe indication is 90.90, and the main res is climbing through. My car number for you on. Looks like 96. Ready. However, that uh, indication is highlighted in red, so we're not about to do much until we get her up to 130. Okay, probably a couple more minutes, it'll be ready to go. Yep. I've noticed that lately with my DPs, even like, like elsewhere too, like the, the reservoir drops from below. Yeah, and the brake supply on them. Uh, over time on a, a long train as well. Even with the cold weather brake effects turned off. Oh, I yeah, I know, it's a bit of a pain. Yeah, like if you have a 100 car train, you're going to have to keep resetting the brakes. Alright, main resident DP is coming up quicker now. We're at 112 and climbing. DPU error. It must be in a really bad spot right there to come and go like that. Yeah, I think you're right. 119. Yeah, we could try it for sure, yeah. I'd load down real good. I'd give it give it like go to seventy, you know, give it a twenty pound reduction, make sure it's, it's all good. Alright, we're showing one twenty one one twenty one on the DP, we'll do a twenty pound reduction. Here it goes. Alright. Equalizing reservoirs at seventy, brake pipe coming down. Roadmaster call Omaha two five four. Yamaha, right. Spectre 254 going ahead. RTTX 895963. The TPU line was shoving on, on an empty flat, so I don't know. I'm, looks like they picked the switch. I'm going to take a look, okay? Okay, so the switch we're talking about, so the, the control point at Caliente, that frog got picked over. Yeah, can I take that in hand? Alright, I got a full 20 pound reduction on the rear. Yeah, let me get the blocking set. Give me that car. Yeah, we got uh, uh, the, the DP is down to a 71, yeah. so we're good. I think we're good to go. I'll recharge. Here we go. Right, okay, and then I don't know what you want to do after we yeah, charge. Yeah, I copied back the up. Robert Tom wanna... Tom X ray. Go ahead. 895963. And like I said, it has no load on it. Well, alright, so we need to set that out. That's the first thing we need. Is there a set out track we can pitch that thing in there? Yeah. Right? Uh, Roadmaster calling Mr. Flanagan. <laughs> yes, sir. You get her to a, to a brief stop there at the other end and throw her in that, not the control, but the hand throw side. Do you think I could get her stopped? Alright, first things first, let's uh, set out that and uh, the Roadmaster, I'll have you. Uh, that's another request for the car department. They're going to be busy today. Anyways, they need to check that thing out. I also need you to take a look at uh switch there, Caliente. I'm going to put a 10 on yeah, it. If you need to up. take it in hand, you have... Uh, Sorry, go ahead, Chris. Have permission to take uh, That's a good charge control backup. point Caliente in hand throw. Roadmaster Gregory All right, has uh, permission to take uh, control point Caliente there in hand. 
That is correct, Cab. Nothing moving around you, so you don't have to worry about dropping any signals in front of anybody. But uh, let, let me know what you find. Let me know what you find. But uh, I'm going to put first person over. It's going to go over to ten. Over. Roger. Jack, looks like I'm getting released. If you want to let it charge up. Or sorry, Omaha 254, the UP 7590. Make a set or something. Omaha Spectrum 254, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and what that signal was that at Omaha. All right, I got the main reservoir and the D down to 90 pounds again. The brake pipe's at 89, but the main reservoir is at 90 pounds. Okay, we'll go through the whole thing again. Just pump it back up, let the EP come up, and then just make an easy set. Negative, I can't I see that signal. Stop here. Uh, let us know what you want to do. Okay, we could probably Is your deducker back there, or you want to turn on crew interaction, and I'll do it, or, or like go to ten pounds. We can I got crew interaction on if you want to do it, but I can handle it. Yeah, I'll go to minimum, and uh, and then we'll ease down to the signal with the dynamics, and then we'll decide what we do after that. Okay, because we'll have to be able to hold it here while we take the hand. Yeah, roger that. Then we'll, we'll talk to the Use dispatcher before plane. we do anything, though, in case we do roll away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that main reservoir, that's really acting funny on the DP, eh? Like, it's down to 88. All right, come back three. Yeah, I don't know what caused back that. Back three. All right, so we're getting a release here. I've got a notch, too, to pump her up a little quicker. So we're in emergency. I'm gonna run back, Mark, and make sure we're not losing air somewhere. Okay, I'm Chris, by the way. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. The first time I let it go, the second time I, I, I could let it go. Be a set Okay, uh, heads up for you. I'm gonna have to hold you there for a while because I'm gonna have to bring two by. And from what I'm seeing in your footage, you're not gonna fit between uh, that center side uh, between Bealville and uh, and that center uh, that center that center cross over there. So I'm gonna have to hold you there. Over. Copy. Hold that. Uh, that is correct. The yeah, NSF 8519 calling 254. You don't want to dispatch at 254, go ahead over. Yep, we're coming up to Mojave now. Uh, I got a pulse number if you need. Yeah, go over that over. It's pulse number 26082. 26082. Said 5519, I show uh, track bulletin number 226082, uh, valid over. Roger, and we'll be Hello, coming Brian. up to Hobby now, so we'll be ready to upgrade for us when you're ready. Copy that signal indication. Just four out. Yeah, I didn't now. see any air between the head end and the DP there, uh, Chris. Um, that's a single unit Late back there, bunch. so he's not making a lot of air volume. I guess that's maybe the reason why. If I had to guess, it probably is. I just noticed, I noticed my uh, my flow meters got some. Although that might be when I set the air meter, but I thought we were coming apart. Well, the head end flow is like zero, one or zero, but I don't know what the flow is back at the at the DP. Uh, yeah, that's I bet that's one, just a bug out there probably, because it also shows my equalizer right reservoir there, uh, so. Uh, BNSF 8102 is standing northbound in Ellard. Other news about something in Caliente. Okay, I'm debating whether I'm going to move you there over. I have to let them, as soon as they get that set out there, I'm probably going to give you a 10 mile an hour speed restriction over that uh, switch in Caliente. So uh, I'll let you know here in a second. You cannot beat the realism of Jason Sessions, though. Like, it's. Uh, can I please repeat this? This, 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 this is pretty Able realistic. Working. You guys oh. want to know it's like the work on a railroad. This is about. Yeah, the, there's a train ahead of you that's making right a set out there, and I have to have make sure that that uh, control point at Caliente is. Uh, 
good to go. As soon as I find out, uh, I can move you. Should be around five more minutes. Over. Bin auf Feld one to understand. Thanks. Okay, over. I got me that. Uh, get to you here in just a second. Okay, okay I think we're looking all right here, Chris. I'm gonna give him a call. North column the DS 254 over. If you want to dispatch on 254, go ahead. You'd be 248. Over. All right, as far as we can tell, we just had a host bag come apart, uh, so we, we got her all uh, pumped up. We've done a test and uh, we're good to go. Um, what can we expect at cable over? Uh, <laughs> I can't give you the signal indication, but I'd say creep on up there and take a peek over. Roger that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a minimum set on here, and then we're going to take off some handbrakes, and uh, hopefully we can use the DVs to keep her under control. Um, okay. Over. Copy that. Yeah. Uh, I would advise you yeah, creep on up there exactly, but take a peek for me. Over. Roger that. Two fifty four out. Eighty two forty eight is. UP seven five nine two passenger street pick at on post three three two point two. Okay, six pounds off the brake pipe. Okay, I got the application. All right, I'm going to uh, set deep uh, dynamic braking up. UP uh, four four zero zero. How far this is the uh, UP seven five nine two over. Uh, you can do. Yep, you take yeah, the handbrake off, over. and I'm going to set yeah, this for I DV so that we can put it in as soon as we need it. Over. Slow here. Right. Going around a turn to winter All right. Yeah, just let us uh, let us know what you need from us back here while he's out. Okay, let us let us know. Uh, what signals you go by if they're less than clear? Just let us know how hard it wants against you. Yeah, we're currently in restricting. All right, we'll bring it down. EP eighty nine oh nine, DS two fifty four over. Okay, I'm on two fifty four. Go ahead, over. Yes, sir. Just wanted to check with you. You want me to hold up? I'm. Getting right in front of that uh, train that's having difficulties there. They're re-railing. You want me to hold up south oh. or uh, north of him over? Uh, yeah. For right now, if you could, I'm I'm gonna uh, get a hold of Roadmaster there and see if I can put a ten on that uh, control point at Caliente, and I'll get you by it. Then, if we can do that, I'll I can keep you moving. But stand by. UPO Moss Batcher two fifty four to. Uh, Roadmaster Gregory over. Yeah, we'll give her a shot at 10. Alright. I just love Yomas, that Yomas, Batcher, 254 to 8909. Uh, I'm gonna give you an unforeseen track restriction here. Let me know when you're ready to copy over. Alright, Jack, I got all my handbrakes off back here. Okay, I'm gonna take, to uh, release the independence on the units and we'll see if she starts to roll right, over. Hold on here, let me get some stuff set up. Uh, you Okay, independent release, and the front end is starting to move. I'm going to put in a little dynamic, over. All right, Rob, we're heading your way. All right, UPO Moss, Batcher 254, UP 8909. Uh, let me know when you're ready to copy an unforeseen track restriction, over. I wanted a dynamic too, Jack. Ready you're in dynamic as well. Yeah, I'm just around three. All right, UP uh, 254, UP. 8909 Dynamic south. In two. Do not exceed 10 miles per hour. That's 10 MPH at control point Caliente. Uh, over. Alright. Dispatcher uh, UP 8909 south. Do not exceed 10 miles per hour. Control point Caliente. Over. That is correct, UP 8909. Uh, let's see, let's make the time of that 1100 hours. 1100 hours, dispatcher JRD over. Alright, copy complete. 1100, 1100 hours, dispatcher JRD. That is correct, UP 8909. Uh, signal indication, look for your light. Just uh, keep it at 10 to the rear of your train gets through there and. Uh, I'm gonna go for the siding there at Ballard Field over. Okay, copy that. Keep it at 10 until the rear of the train's clear and in the siding at Ballard Fieldville over. That is correct. Field Moss, Batcher 254. It's at 4818 over there. 4818, go ahead. Alright, uh. 
Chris, get a clear signal at cable. Clear, Russell. All right, let's, I'm going to pull off a bit of this uh, DB. I'm in six right now. I'm going to pull back to four. Okay, I'm going to get off one. Here we go. You want to hit an hour? All right, UPLMI 254 to Roadmaster Gregory, over. Yeah, Roadmaster Gregory. So obviously, the, uh, this train, uh, you're, you're walking this guy by at 10 at that uh, control point, I take it over. I'll stand right there, and I can't even take it in hand until we try it, because there's an occupant seat. That is correct. Uh, so until we get that fog changed out, you want to keep just running trains over to 10 MPH? Let over? me check this first one, and we'll go from there. Copy that. Let me know. Uh, dispatcher 254 out. Go back, her out. Oh, and you can take the outside track of the helper pocket out of service if there's a car in there. Yeah, but you, uh... Yeah, since you're, you're in charge of the bulletins, go ahead and put that in the bulletin. Okay? I will. Copy that, that thank idea. you. Roadmap Direct reports all handlers between North and South Caliente on the main MAINR lined and locked for mainline use. Copy that. UP 8592. Be on my dispatcher, 254, go ahead, 8590, over. Alright, here's Death Mojave, done with our setup, ready to get back on, our training continues out. Okay, so you need a uh, light from the yard on, uh, out onto the single main there, or I, I can't get to the lag talking to either. Yeah, that's right, we're yeah, ready to be talking about you. Hold on just a second, I'll get right to you. Never mind. So you got, like you got good control of the jack? Yeah, we got good control. Uh, the dynamics in six, uh, we got our brake reduction. I think we're going to be okay. We're back to call Omaha. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm out of dynamic now. They're all, it's all you. All right, I'll give you a shout if it needs some help. Okay, I'm actually going to lead against well, you. Well, stand, by there, uh, stand by there, brother. Thanks. Roger that. Yeah. Boom. Alright, UPL must match at 254, the UP 8592, over. 8592. Okay, I'm kind of confused on this. You're on the single main there, just south of South Mojave, right? Correct. Okay, you need to go back into the yard again, over? No, I need to come back up to our train, over. Where's the second half of your train? Is it still in the yard that needs to come on out? Uh, no, it should be on the main one there in South Mojave. Oh, okay.
That's my bad. That's south. That's a UTH bound Are Oh, you you need it. You're going north. No, my bad. All right. Correct. Uh, <laughs> let me let me try this again. So you're going to go north back up against your train now. That's right. All right. After stopping UT 8592 at South Mojave, you have authority to pass single swing stop location, northbound move, single main on the main track for number one or eight. All right, under, after stopping 8592 permission, by the stop signal, north NORTH, single track to main one, looking out for our train. That is correct, and that was a four you can get by that. For you East Coast guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're all good. All right, here we go. Thank you. You peel on 54 to uh, Roadmaster Gregory. Okay. Master Gregory. Yeah, were you calling me over? No, I was telling him that I released his authority and he's okay to go. I can you advise on that? 10 on that. Uh, we're going to keep giving that to trains or what we're going to Stand right here with a couple of ones. Copy that's a bad job. Eight, five, five, thirty two. Two fifty four. Go along Spatcher, two fifty four, go ahead, eight, five, thirty two, over. Trains all back together, air test is good, ready to continue north before we stand over. Alright, that could be eighty five thirty two. Uh permission to continue north on your authority, uh up to CPO middle. Alright, you're okay north with Thorne. Much 35, 85, 32 out. Coming down nice, Jack. Yeah, I see. We're putting deep views everywhere now. Mid train, rear end. Have you got any uh, DB on there, uh, Chris? Nope, I'm, I'm leaning against you. Do you want to hold, grab you a little bit? I think we're okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay against you, keep it bunched up. Is all. Just notch one, that's all. All right. So we got started. I was like getting rocked back here, so I decided to punch it up, and now it seems pretty good. Yeah, I think we we found the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just running dynamics between six and seven. And we have an advance approach, uh, CP Marcel. Thanks so much for that advance approach. Uh, no, we're okay. I mean, we're going to get an approach at the other end, and then I guess uh, he must have somebody... Oh, what's he got going here? I guess maybe somebody going to put us into Woodford, maybe? Well, they've they extended. Roadmaster going on Omaha. It's been more selling way long, so according to the map, there's Yo, a signal. We're going to stop it way long down there. Let's get this guy out of the way. All right, yeah. Okay. Roll back and forth a couple times? Yeah, he may stop us in. Copy that. Let me know, and uh, we'll... Uh, we got a dynamic here. I'll, I'll start grabbing. Yeah, set her up and just maybe put one in and then, because uh, I still got some up here. Alright. Go back, Strap. Oh, you know what? Uh, Jason on the UP side here at MTM. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. Remember. MTM. Maintenance. I don't know, something that it is, it's an MTM. Maintenance of track maintenance. Man manager of track maintenance. Yeah, manager of track maintenance. Woo! Jack, make sure you call out those approaches and stuff on the road channel in case you want to talk Oh, yes, okay, thanks, buddy.
Dispatcher 254, UP 7592, over here. UP 7592, go ahead. Uh, heads up for you, you're going to be at Cali Day for two northbound, they're right up at Allard, wait for that train to head in to get by them over. Okay, we'll be waiting at the Cali Day for two northbound trains, over. That is correct, UP on Dispatcher 254, out. NSF 769 South, uh, advanced approach. Give me a little bit back there, Chris. I'm in eight up here in Mark the dynamics. Alright, I'll grab you. No. He is working. Special assignment. It'd be nice if we could bring it to a stop without uh, going any deeper on the brake. Yeah, you could probably squeeze on another pound or two. I'd you know, try to stay up above ten. Brake pipes at 82. Roger. Yeah, just got a reduction. So I got my dynamics here in 8. Yeah, I've got just about all going. Don't be real careful with it. Fully released up here, Chris. So if you want to take some off, our deputy is nine six six one nine seven. I don't suppose that'd be close to the head end, though. No, it's it's actually four back from DP, rear end DPU over. It is loaded. All right, there was a hot axle on that. Yeah, it's coming down now. It's at two eighty four. Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't the. Uh, I'm sorry. Was that a... Uh, was there a brake tied on it? Or what, what was going on there? Brake was released, though. So if there was a hot axle, there was no brake sticking on it, correct, though? 
sure don't look over. Yeah, I got my dynamic on zero here, uh, Mark. Yeah, or Chris, I'm sorry. So uh, it, you're doing it all. I just I just came out of it completely, so we're just drifting. All right, Captain. All right, according to the chart here, it's a 1.7 percent downgrade, so we're not uh, not gaining speed too much. Okay, that's good. Roadmaster calling Omaha two five four. Yeah, you can Omaha two five four. Bend it straight. Yeah, from where I am up above the loop here, I can see the signal and let's stop. Okay. Hey, the points look good, Juan. Uh, the machine is damaged, but it's throwing. So let's leave that at 10 and be done with it. Copy that. Oh, man, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, the Italian thing. Oh. Let your guys eventually get out there and uh, deal with that motor. Uh, the signal department's going to have to deal with the motor and whatnot. I have another issue, though. Okay. On the 8532, they had a hot axle. I'm trying to figure out whether there's a, a bearing issue that heated up and went to the axle, but it's rear the, it's the rear end of the train, a couple up from the DPU. Um, there's no way he's going to go and get going. Uh, Tracks he's speed. got uh, 89 uh, or 81 on the rear. The helper. I you know what? Uh, I don't even. Yes. In this case, the oh, man helpers are going to have to be slow. We're, uh, yeah. So a little bit north of Caliente there, Jason. All right, uh, we'll, we'll go for a drive and I'll go get him. Yeah, I just, well, I uh, Mark, uh, Chris, there's a guy just going by the light there at Wolong, so road since he goes by, we should get a clear, so if we just creep like this, our timing might be good. I can keep okay, down at 20 miles an hour. See, uh, the, see the light from up here, you want to go all the way down around. Good choice. Yeah, you have a crew member who, uh, to ride the well, We're going there. slow enough I'd that uh, we, we might just get there as a clear. Okay, all right, we'll keep going. Well, I'll tell you what, if this is real life... Yeah, I'm throwing 3.9 mile an hour up here and our speed is holding steady. But I have a feeling the guys out here don't want us to be sitting around doing that, so... <laughs> you know, so, uh... How deep are you, man? It's four from the rear end DPU. I'm at it if you want to. Is it cooling down or no? Yeah, it's, it's coming down. It's at 182. 181 and dropping. Just send it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking let it cool down and we go from there. Yeah. Alright, copy that. UPO mod 254, UP 8532. As soon as that axle is cooled down enough to go, let's go. Uh, uh, Edwin, the, the help is 25 miles an hour. Uh, Until, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll have another, uh, I'll have a uh, signal maintainer down at Bina. These helpers are connected uh, to the brake pipe, but they actually, don't help charge yeah, I'll have one at Bina, uh, um, stop by, uh, stop, stop down at Bina, and I'll have a signal maintainer check it for you there, and if it's no problems, you're good to go and track speed then. Roger, eighty-five thirty-two. We'll stop at Bina, we'll double check the car, and then, uh, if all is clear, we'll go track speed over. That is correct. Sounds like a plan. Dispatch it to four out. Five thirty-two out. User left your channel. BNSF seventy-three one seven approach. Is a meeting the cable uh, to User west. Left your channel. Out. Chris your getting some content today. Sure am. I've been in an emergency, someone else has been in an emergency, car on the ground, this, this is great. If it bleeds, it leads, man.
Yeah, I changed things up a little. Creep on down the cable and take a peek at that signal, uh, signal indication. I mean, I will creep down and take a peek. That's it all. 73, you want 7 out. We almost got you 254. Huh? Yeah, that's what that is. You get a little, you get a little jitter through the curves there. I think we stopped. Yeah, I think you're right. The speed's going up and down. Yeah, we've come to a stop. Okay. UP Omaha dispatcher 254. UP 8248. Over. Just want to say okay. here. Maybe just a little bit on the head end here. I'm stopped back here. We just you want to sit still then. I guess we can sit still. Okay, I'm putting the independent on. Independent on here too. I didn't want to set it, and then you start pulling on it. Almost back to 254. You'd be 8248. Okay. Yeah. Let's call it Jack. Ah, UP 8248 North answering over. Hey, heads up! I'm gonna have to. Tuck you away a row in there, you won't fit a cliff, and you're gonna be meeting at least one southbound east of Allard now. Alright, we can expect to win the hole at rowing, over. That is correct, I'll have a little more for you when you get to rowing, dispatch 54 out there. Thank you, sir, uh, UP 48 North out. Gilma, dispatch 254, uh, MTM Gregory, over. All right, uh, Chris is the uh, DP of uh, a unit is just going by me now. So let's release the independent. We'll put on a notch of power and see if we can get her moving against these brakes. All right. DNS 7317 West to 254 over. Get on my spectrum 254. Go ahead. Over. Yeah, I've just had a peek at our signal there, cable. It's there, over. Copy that signal indication there. Thank you, sir. 7 out. BNSF 769 South, uh... Just up the notch, too, in the head end here, uh, Chris, and I got moving. Uh, Alright, right now, I'm coming up against the hockey caption. The 8532, 254. Got my Spectre, 254. Temperatures come down in order to proceed from where we stand. I mean, that you have, uh, you have permission to proceed on your uh, previous northbound authority on bay track number one there. Like I said, just uh, stop down at the unit, check that again, let me know over. Roger, will do. 532L. Gail Mosbatcher, 254 out. Chris, if you see that signal down there at way long uh, before I get there, let me know what it is, would you? All right. All right, head ends down to notch one. If you all want a spatcher, 254, you be 8112 over. Dispatcher 54 in the UP 8112 North, over. My Isn't bad. 8112? Yeah, the BSF. 8112, man. Okay, Chris, I'm going into dynamics now. I'm going to grab you. Yeah, maybe just take a notch. Wait a minute. Alright, BSF 8112. Do not exceed 10, that's 10 miles per hour at control point Caliente, over. Let's maybe take another notch or two, Chris, we're not sure about this signal. 
Careful, we don't string line those center beams. <laughs> oh boy, that'd be it's so harder hard. than I ever make an appearance. That'd be incredible if we did Probably that. Probably fell asleep. asleep. <laughs> I have two words for you, Bob. Well, Legend has it, he's still cutting out bad orders. Like giving the train out to the dispatcher yeah, with around I six can't... hours already against it. Yeah, see, I can't be a lot. Omaha 2594, Omaha dispatcher 254, answer and go ahead over. Yeah, for hours of service, I got about another hour and a half left. Uh, I don't know if uh, you want to plan to put this in somewhere or, or what. Jack, we might have to stop here. Yeah, uh. You're gonna go after that, yeah. I, you're most likely then yeah, just gonna make it up to people. Can you see the signal? That, then, no, I, I, I got, that thing I got smoke heard. coming off my axis. Back. So yeah, I can't bail off we'll wait for that one to go. One north. You want to stop? Bio. We'll get you yeah, that, then you go up to Bealville, and uh, uh, we'll let we'll let you get a hold of uh, Jason there and see if he wants to do it with you. Because I'd rather I'd rather single track at Bealville than. Copy that. All right. Copy that. Seventy-five, ninety-two. We'll recruit you somewhere at Bealville. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You can seventy-five, ninety-two. We recruit uh, somewhere around Bealville. Uh. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Over. All right. Copy that. Spent two fifty-four out. I'm gonna hop down, Jack. I'm gonna go to Angle's when you enter the cars and see if I can get this to bail. All right. I'll call the dispatcher. P8248 North calling DS254 over. Yamaha <laughs> 254, go ahead, 8248 North. Yeah, we're, uh, we're stopped here just short of uh, SP351 way long. Uh, there's trouble with the uh, helper units. He's down on the ground trying to see if he can get it fixed over. Alright, do, uh, do I have your permission to knock down the signal at uh, CP way long there, uh, 8248 over? Yes, sir, you have my permission to knock down the signal at CP way long over. Copy that. All right, let me know what you guys find there. Uh, yeah. People uh, coming up the hill here. Okay, well, I'll keep you informed. Thank you, uh, UP 40 North Out. The Omaha Spatcher 254 out. Jack, I'm afraid the only thing we can do is to release the air. What has happened in the past 20 minutes? So we're going to have to set on a shitload of handbrakes. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I don't know what else to do. So you're, it won't bail off. I can't, I can't get it to bail. It's, now it's showing 40 pounds. Are you, you using a rail driver? No. So Recalibrate. Uh, 48, I mean, it makes the noise, but it doesn't... Like, 
Like, it, it bailed oh. before. Like, I, I've been bailing before. All right. Well, in that case, <laughs> see, you heard him talking to me. Man, He's got I a couple of guys coming up the hill. Uh, we we might have to cheat uh, and slap handbrakes on and West. just release it. No. Because this is kind of un unforeseen here. All right. I'll cheat. I'll put them on. Stand by. Yeah. Yeah, there Alright, the cheat is on, here comes the release. Man, that's 73, 17. Option we can just make a set. Hey, heads up, yeah, there's a train ahead of you there, and it's going to be right. really long. They're having issues with the helpers, so uh, might want to just uh, talk to them. Uh, I don't think you're going to have to do anything with them, but just. Let, let you know they're out there. Alright, Jack, I got a release. Yeah, that's the that's the release. Right. Copy that. Budget 54 out. Alright, do we want to try it? Oh, now our main reservoir is down to 98 on the DP. Yeah, just let it charge back up again. And then just Go ahead, open the bridge crew. Is that there? Make a minimum. Or make, if, maybe get like 8 pounds or something. Then we'll just that would be on, on our again. UP 7592. Yep. Uh, Kelly and Dave there. I've never seen that. That uh, could be a program glitch. We didn't have any problem before. Car inspector no. calling UP 8532. Over. 8532 answering the car inspector. Yes, sir. Just wanted to let y'all know we're here at Mina in position for the roll by. Roger, car inspector's in position at Mina for the roll by. 8532 out. Be a lot 254, you'd be 8532. If uh, I heard that you have somebody in place to roll you by, then I'll give you the light there at Bino. Roger, the car inspector is there at Bino for a roll by, and we'll, uh, we'll be looking for the signal indication over. Copy that, Spider 254. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. That was, uh, that was different. I guess from here on out, Jack, let me know. You make the set, and I'll bail off while you're making the while the air applies. Maybe that'll help keep you dependent off. All right, sounds like a plan. I, I don't know what else to do besides that. Yeah. You can't live like this. <laughs> we can't. And now we got a light, and we got to wait for three or four trains. Yeah, I know. I ruined everything. No, that's okay, buddy. Chris, it would uh, bail off the uh, independent if you put the dynamics on, correct? Uh, I yeah, I think because well, I think these engines have that blended braking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that would have. I'm thinking that might do it too. All right, I got 109 on the main reservoir in the DP, and it's climbing. So let's. Uh, I'll do a minimum reduction, and we'll see what happens. Bailed off. Go ahead and set it up there. Uh, brake pipes at 83. So you got a faulty brake valve. Something. Omaha 254, UP 75, 92. It went right to 20. I, I couldn't, like, I had it bailed and everything. You know, Omaha Spatcher 254, go ahead, 7592. Alright, well, why don't yeah, let me let me there. do a release. If you want somebody to come right here in Cali and here, do you want me to keep going up to uh, build a hole up? You get that, it's up to Chris? You, uh, yeah. However long you want to go, All right, I, I get you up to Beoville. I mean, tell him, yeah, I get you to Beoville if you want, or if you want to do it now. It's up to you. If you want to continue to run, by all means, go I ahead. Release. Well, I, I mean, I'm fine running to Beoville, but if somebody's here to run it now and they want to run it, then sure, I'll let them, I'll let them take it. OK, 
Okay, yeah, if there's some, I, I don't know, I didn't know who was going to recruit, but if, if he's there, yeah, you guys go ahead and work that out. Well, I don't know if it's Harrison here or not. If it's Harrison, he wants to take any Is there a way to cut out the locomotive brake? That's fine, too. It technically cuts cuts itself out when you Yeah, you'd be on my spectrum 254 to the uh, relief crew and route to the U.S. Well, there's a glitch there somewhere. I wonder if it's because... I wonder if it's because I, I made that application when we went in the hole back here. In the wobby walk. I wonder if oh, okay. I should cut away and tie back in again. Yeah. Worth a try. Okay, I'll talk to him. User left your channel. SP-81. I bet that's what we gotta do, Jack. I bet I need to cut away so I can release, reset my own air, and then tie back in. Sounds like a plan. I, I don't know what else to try besides that. Oh, it's a good idea.
Hey Chris, you're hey, you you're right up against the light there. Eh? You you haven't got you've got just two car lengths between you and the guy behind us. Roger, stand by. Oh shit. Okay. Eighty-five, thirty-two, two fifty-four. Inspector, two go ahead over. Car inspectors gave us a shout. Good roll by. Train looks good over. <laughs> Copy that. All right, track speed, and I'll get a hold of uh, the Santa Fe there. And see if we can get you a pass. Okay, your handbrakes are released on your three units there, Chris. Roger, track right, speed, you. and contact Santa Fe. Get us past Kern Junction. Thank you much. Eighty-five thirty-two out. All right, thank you. Have a safe one. Dispatch two fifty-four out. SP eighty-one hundred one to the BNSF seventy-three seventeen. Hello, Ada. Hello, Chris. Uh, seventy-three seventeen. I'm still. Hey, I, I didn't realize you were right there, and I was right up on the signal. Can uh be all right if I uh, come at you here about a car length to cut away for a minute? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, if you need any removal, we're just going to stop. Okay. All right. We'll be coming at you here about a car length. Copy that, a car length. Yeah, I figured there was going to be some maneuver in there. That's why I told him to get all over here. Yeah, I didn't realize I was that close. <laughs> I, I actually had a second. I was thinking, I wanted to push him into there and be going, like, well, you guys been having problems. I said, nah, nothing will happen. Brent to the DS254 to to, to to the S254 over. Come on, 254, go ahead over. Uh. On the Mojave sub, are there any are there any trains that that don't have clear over? Yeah, on the uh, yeah, there's one at Sanborn and one at Bissell. Get a hold of uh, Jason there, and he can put you on one. You can add to this fund. All right, copy that. And there's also one at, down at Seiko. I guess it's just up to you, wherever, whatever you want to run. Yomaha Dispatcher 254 to BNSF 4818 at Allard, over. 4818, go ahead. Okay. Uh, change of plans, if you're ready to go, let me give you this 10 and uh, get you moving over here. Jack, okay, tie back in. Yeah, you're okay to tie back in, you have three points. Alright, here we go. Copy, 4818 is ready to go. Okay, BSF 4818, do not exceed 10 miles per hour, that's 10 MPH at Control Point Caliente, over. BSF 4818 copies, do not exceed 10 miles per hour, 10 MPH at Caliente, CP Caliente, over. That is correct there to the BSF 4818 north. Make this good at 11:44. 1144 hours. Dispatch your JRD over. Copy at 1144 hours. 4818 out. There we go. User left your Things been on the rear road. Things have been very busy. Standing by. What are you showing up there? Got it. No, everything looks normal up here. Uh, how much air do you have? Set? Oh, I don't have any set. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, um, just uh, just give me full yeah, service here, so we can just we can just ease down to that thing. You want a full service? Go on, dispatch it before you be eighty-five. No, let's just just set them up like we're gonna like we're gonna drop down to that thing. Yeah, we'll just do a minimum reduction. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah. Keep uh, the rising reservoirs at 84. Yomaha Spatcher 254, you'd be 8532. 8532. Yeah, I have permission to knock down the signal there on main two of current junction. I, uh, I accidentally routed you into the Santa Fe over there. Huh. 
Roger, you're good to knock down the no, signal. No, Copy that. Because I bleed that thing out, I'm um, we'll gonna switch on. and get you going right over here. Rod. Chris, I'm showing the brake pipe at 84. Yeah, I got an application, but I still can't bail now. Uh, that's probably a glitch, because that... Yeah, I don't think this didn't happen before. Can you uh, go to another unit and use it as a controlling unit? Uh, probably not now, because I'm tied in. So you shut that unit down and isolate it and uh, go to the center unit, say? Well, I think if I go to the, if I go to any other units, it will give me the help control. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the problem. I think you got to be right against the engines, or against the cars, I mean. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, no. It's not interesting. I guess we're, I'm going to have to try to take it down without you. What's that, the cheat? Yeah, that's the, that's the air cheat. That just that should release all the air. All right, let me, let me do a, let me do a release on the, on the automatic first. on my rail driver, so I guess we can do that. Three, three point nine or to Ullman. I'm not so good as a... Set it back up again. <laughs> uh, no, pro no problem there. As long as the rear of your train is past CP Caliente, uh, you can continue and track speed now. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, it's got your 54 out there. Brake pipes at 84. We we'll just have to use as you, well, yeah. But how do we do it every time I make a? So we'll have to make one reduction and just leave it there. Um. Hit yeah. Hit hit F seven. Do the brake cheat. All right. Now I've got a minimum reduction right now. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Set up. If I do the cheat, it recharges the brake pipe to 90. Yeah, I was hoping it would reset me back here, but it's not. Can you? Operate as a pusher with without cutting into my air. I, I think I could in theory. You want to try it that way? <laughs> well, we're only going to be talking anyway, right? Like you know, we'll just talk about uh, setting the dynamics and all that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could still use the dynamic against you. Yeah, I just wouldn't have the air cut in. That's okay. All right, I won't tell anybody if you don't. The NSF is no, forty-eight eighteen okay, north. Approach. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to cut away again just to reset it all, and then I'll just tie back into you and I'm going to cut the area. All right. Of course, you won't know if you have an application, but... Be all my spectrum. 48 answering over. Hey, you give me a heads up uh, as to about how long you guys might be over here. Well, we're still
still troubleshooting the problem. We're hoping we can come up with a solution. If we have, it won't be but a few minutes over. All right, yeah. All right, I'll give you another five minutes. Let me know. I have a train southbound at Row, and I just need to know what to do with him. Uh, well, he's not that far away. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move him. So, uh, hold on here. Jack, yeah, he's near the I can't be messing with him, so. All right, you're going to see one south way along there, and he's leaving rowing right now over there. Okay, so we're going to hold it way long for one southbound over. That is correct. Hopefully you guys will be good to go by then. Over. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, you be for you. 48 North Oak. Dispatcher 254 out. 8101 254. Go ahead there, 8101 over. Okay, I think I got the problem remedied back here on the rear of the 8248. We should be good to go. Oh, uh, that changes things. All right, uh, let me knock down Woodford way along there. Uh, all right, let me lead the signal out, bend the switch, and then uh, signal indication there way along. We'll put you in a Woodford over. Okay, uh, we got all that signal indication at uh, way long, and we're going to go into Woodford. Yeah, that is. Well, hold on here. You got a 70. I'll keep you on the main. You're the bigger train, and we'll uh, put the intermodal to the side angle. UP 8909 South, ES 254. Go ahead, over. Yeah, just want to know we had a signal drop right in front of us from uh, clear to uh, advanced approach, or approach medium, over. Copy that, yeah. I uh, knew you guys weren't right up on it, so uh, change the uh, change your routing. You're going to go in the siding and look for the Okay, copy that. Heading in the siding at Woodford Road. Right. Yeah, you're going to go into Woodford. You're meeting in a, a manifest who's going to be leaving way along. Uh, they have helpers on them. They have been having issues. So I don't know if I call it refurbished, but we'll see what it goes on there. It's about 254 out. <laughs> okay, okay, Chris, if we're ready to... Uh, south out. We're ready to creep up to the light. I'll uh, release the handbrakes. Yeah, and, it didn't uh, drop red on you. Okay, like I said, no, I don't that's have correct. any reading back here, so we're going to have to take it easy with you, All right, I guess. Copy that, Patrick. Yeah, I'll be easy on the air, and uh, 89, 09. I can't I can't assume this light is clear. Well, hang on, I can jump up. Let's see. Can you see it? I just don't know what else to do, Jack, without letting you go by yourself. Catch that, Chris? I did not. See, so we're just going to. I'm going to release the handbrakes and uh, just notch one or two to get get the train going, and then I'll set up the dynamics. Over. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Independent release. Here we go. Clear signal at Waylon. Okay, clear signal. I'm grabbing you. Yeah, I got the dynamics in uh, three. All right. EP 7592, Yamaha 254, dispatch road. Yamaha 254, go ahead. Yeah, one. EP 7592, 
on the air down to 82.
with the announcement. Hold on. Yeah, you're going to meet one there at Waylong. He's currently meeting one at Woodford, and then you'll go to uh, Oak Copy that. We'll wait for one at Waylong. Thank you, sir. That means we have to out. Yeah, we'll dispatch a 254 out there. Try to call Ante Let go to Marker. Have a good day. Hey, Juan. Juan. Go ahead. Where's your BNSF pusher guy? Uh, he's on the UP. Oh, the BNSF. He's on the. Uh, I just got a head end of a southbound going by me here now, Chris. Okay. It was over at Edison. Where are you at, Eric? Edison on the south end on the west side. Still waiting? Still waiting. Okay, here, I'll have you on the block, on the push here in just a minute. He's on the way. Okay. Sorry about that, buddy. No worries, man, that's railroad. Yep. Alright, uh, Vaughn, they're going to attach to each other. There's a, a, a vehicle rip. Okay, so it's, it's not Hogger's train. It's not. There's two other trains coming that are going to need help with it. Okay. EP 2592 calling the EP Yamaha 254 to the bathroom. Yamaha 254, you ready for that 10 over? Yeah, we're ready for that 10 1. Steam? Uh, I don't know. Alright. 7592 do not exceed. 10 miles per hour, that's 10 MPH at control point Caliente. Hi, that's Roger for EP 7592, understand 10 mile an hour for your restriction. In the control point Caliente, not exceed. I'm just going by this guy beside us who stopped waiting for the signal around the corner here. Okay, we still showing 10 back here, so... I got, I got everything on, so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm floating no, around 5. Against. Break pipes at 81. waiting to see the signal. I'm assuming it's going to be clear, but I can't be sure, right? Yeah, right. I'm just going by his tail end. Okay, showing 12 mile an hour back here. Yeah, 11.7. Alright, David, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you'll be back. I'm, I'm sure we've still got a little more left to go. You got to be right on top of these signals before you can see them. Yeah, especially when the train's sitting there. That's all making sense. I was telling you about your speed and make sure you got control of this. It's actually quite nerve wracking being back here, not having control of the train. Okay.
Okay, I see the signal at uh, North Woodford, and it's a clear signal. Here we go. All right, clear at North Woodford. Dispatcher's out of the seat. All right, I'm gonna start easing down against you, Jack. Okay? Yeah, ease a bit. Just knocking down the signal to North Woodford. All right. I got a heavy, a pretty heavy brake on too. Uh, I got the brake pipe down to 81. If you see smoke coming from the train wheels, let me know. <laughs> Signal. Clear. UP eighty nine oh nine, UP eighty two forty eight. Train look good on a roll by. Have a good trip. Thank you, sir. You look good too. Uh, you see trips well. Thank you. UP nine oh nine. signal south rowing. Got a bit of a dynamic on back there, Chris. Uh, yeah, a little over half. Beautiful. Yeah, we're at two point two percent down. Quite interesting to run helpers on here. 
we'll get her done. We'll just put in a little more, take off a little more air and, and full dynamics. We'll get her stopped. I gotta say, I was like, I was kind of concerned coming into uh, uh, where, where we have that signal that after we met that guy. Is that right there in Woodford? Yeah. I, I was a little concerned because I'm like in full dynamic. And we're still doing like 10 mile an hour on that approach, and I'm like, oh man, I hope, I hope Jack's got a hold of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I I had about uh, three or four notches of dynamic left. Oh man, it's, I mean that's that's realistic though. It's like because you just don't know what's going on back there. You got, I have to make sure. You know what you're doing up there, you know? Yeah, right on. Are we meeting anyone else, or is that is that it for now? Did he say? Uh, I I don't know. He was uh, at one time. He talked about holding us for two, so we'll see. find out. I was just curious if, 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 we, if we met everybody or, or what was going on. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But Jamie, I, I think I'm, I'm going to probably shove at least one more train here so you can see it uh, working again. I'm showing 22 for speed here, uh, Chris. Yeah, that's about what I got. Gotcha. I'll stop the CP line on north. Yeah, I get 81 on the brake pipe and the uh, dynamic is in four. Yeah, she's coming down nice. Let's find that sweet spot, you know. It's yeah, not too bad. Keep those. Keep those uh, center beams on the wheels. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm coming around, coming around to hatch me. I can see them. They're like they're taunting us, you know, like, like they want to be put over on their side. Oh yeah, uh, I see a clear signal at North Rowan. Clear. Chris, let me know when you get back. We just got a defect. We just got a defect at the detector. Oh, are you serious? I can't, I, I can't freaking believe it. All right, I'll give him a call. Uh, what do you want from me when we start grabbing you? Slow down or what? Yeah, I guess we better uh, just, yeah, you grab her and I'll, I'll put on a better, bit, uh, my deep dynamics here and we'll see what we can do. Okay. 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 Alright, dynamics are in 8. UP 8248 north, uh, column DS 254 over. What axle did it give you? Uh, it came up and then it went away. Actually, there were three axle numbers, so maybe we got to the North calling the DS254 over.
copy that. Wow. Alright, do I have permission to knock down the signal no, there? And, uh, north end of Cliff, over. You have that uh, permission to knock down the signal on north end of Cliff, over. Alright, copy that. Uh, set the signal, like I said, Cliff to stop. And, uh, uh, let me know what you find, though. Yeah, we'll keep you posted, thanks. Hey Chris, if I look at the uh, the graph for the train, everything from about half, halfway between my DP and my head end is all red, like there's something going on back there. Go ahead. I'm going back to check the stream, it says hot Yeah, I just gave you a heads up, we have about two hours left on our... I'm going to start walking up and just in case. We are shifting over. Go ahead, I'm going to start walking up and just in case. Go ahead, thank you for the heads up. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go down to Rowan. Let's go down to Rowan and take a look at it there. Copy that one. Go to roll and take a look. Thank you, sir. Send me three one seven out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in a row and and uh because there's one coming up the hill like Aller, 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 down. Down. Approach, we'll See what happens then. Okay, copy that with uh thank you advice for board. Thank you, sir. Seventy three one seven out. Alright, you be on my spec you two fifty four out. E seventy five ninety two Hubbard, the version of Vance Pro Aller now. Yeah, your yeah, engines are all showing up, uh, Chris. Go ahead, Barry. Yeah, I just went back. I don't understand. I had the air release. Request crew change. That smoke coming from all the wheels on your engine. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that, I, I that's don't, correct. I don't understand. I had the, I had the I'm getting a hold of the uh, your dispatcher there, and then we'll get Jeez, you there's something there. something wonky about this there. pusher program. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know if my engines are now bugged or something or what. Yeah, SF8519, approach medium, give a crossover. I don't, I don't get it. You know what, maybe we should just uncouple you and delete them and then he can spawn some in down at Caliente or whatever and I'll try to make it up uh, the hill at Sand Cut. Unassisted. I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, that's yeah. Yeah, I there's think, something. I think when we when we went to the emergency back there, cable that something happened. Yeah, well, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it, 254 to the BNSF 4471 over. BNSF 4471, answer it over. Yeah, do you, are you guys the ones that are going to be getting help? Jack, with I'm going to go up and talk to Jason. Real uh, yeah, the uh, All right. NSF side, they said to expect somewhere around Edson, I think. Yeah. Get a hold of, uh, let me see where they are. Stand by over. Hey, Jason. Hey, Chris. I think, I think I've got an issue with the helpers here. Okay, what do you got going on? Well, we went in emergency at Cable, and it gave, it gave me control of the train. And I, 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 when I realized it, I set the air real quick to stop. Well... While that was all going on, I got, I had helper control given back to me. Well, now we had a, an issue came up where the, the I couldn't, I couldn't bail off. Every time Jack would make a set, the independent would stay apart. So we, we fixed that in way long because I, I cut, I cut away and tied back in, and I came down. Um, oh, now see the hair's tied back into the train again. That's interesting. Because what I did was I. I just cut back in, or I knuckled back in, but I didn't tie into the air or anything, so the, the brakes wasn't flying. But now coming down here for Rowan, I had hot boxes on the engine, so I don't know if the engines are bugged or, or what's going on here. Yeah, is that the first time you experienced that? Yeah, and I'm not sure if, if the issue came up after we went to emergency, and like I got control of the train, and then it threw it back to Jack and gave me the helper again while I had the air applied, if that had something to do with it or what. You still spawn? We're stopped, and now, see, it automat something happened. Um, oh, I bet I know what happened. I think, oh, I bet I know exactly what happened. I think, oh, we did the F7 cheat, and I never closed Nangle Cox back up. So there you go. Okay. Yep. okay. So, we'll, we'll, all right, we'll remedy that. We'll keep going then. But when I get done with this trip, I might, I might delete these engines and spawn them back in just to reset them, because I think there's something wonky with them. Don't cheat where you are. 
No, no, no. After we get done and get cut away, I'll delete them and spawn them back in wherever one cuts me away at. Yep, that, that would be awesome, because it, otherwise it's just not going to be right. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that, but if we can, if we just go back the way we did it, we'll be okay, I think. Cool. Um, uh, kick me back down the 254 channel, I don't have this password. Stopping and then starting again there, Cliff. Uh, I think I'll get her stopped. Yep, no problem. Okay, all right. Put on, put on a bunch of handbrakes. Hang on, Jack. <laughs> okay, man. And Jack, just a uh, heads up. I have noticed strange things with uh, helpers and DPUs that have a uh, EOT attached to them. Try taking that off and see if it helps anything. Uh, yeah, we don't have an EOT. Okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hey, 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 Jack. Yeah, go ahead. I think okay, I found the problem. I think what happened yes. is we were doing the F7 cheat thing and I forgot to close yeah, angle box back up. Five, four, go so ahead. the engine supplied and they, they, they warmed up again. Uh, so I'm going to cut or away and just tie back into you. Yeah, as soon as you, uh, can you get it in the past current junction and get a hold of the... Alright, so we'll go down the hill with your brakes cut out? Yeah, like we were doing before, but I think, or do you need to leave I think now something over. happened and, like, I think the F-17 got no, I, uh, or something, uh, I can't remember. Uh, Alright, okay, let me know. Yacht, but I don't know if it's possible. Yeah, well, you're on the main there, that's what I'm saying. The train ahead of you is moving now, so if you can follow him into the yard there, out in Bakersfield, the BNSF yard, maybe do the crew change there, over. Okay, we have the two, we're changing the yard. Thanks. Yeah, there, like I said, the train ahead is moving. You'll follow him into the BNSF Bakersfield yard. Okay, okay I'll follow the train. Then. Ah. All right, thank you. You'll be on my special 254 up. BNSF 9073 calling Omaha dispatcher 254 over. Go ahead there, uh, BNSF 973 over. This is the H back bar 111A. We're stopped at Kearns Junction. We were called for 333 knot. We have 88 loads, 25 empties, 13,188 tons, and we have an HPD of 1.4, so we'll need help from past Edison. Over. Are you they're not DP'd over? That is correct. Over. Okay, don't block any crossings there. Uh, your train ahead of you is going to be at uh, Edison picking up what I thought were your helpers. Helpers, I need to uh, get some helpers for you, so let me talk to the uh, the boss here and we'll see if we can do it. I'm sure we can spot some in somewhere. Okay, we got 7,500 feet and we'll stop there to red block here at uh, Kearns Junction. Okay, Jack, I'm all tied in if we want to start going again. All right, here we go. Are we on a good signal? Yeah, we have a clear signal. I got a call. I got... Okay. UP 8248 North calling DS254. Come on, Spatch 254, go ahead. Okay, after conversations, uh, Chris seems to think that he may have found the problem. Um, so we're just sitting looking at signal 3.4.5, yeah, well, it's a clear we're signal, kinda, authority to proceed over. Alright, yeah, the trip here, uh, so. uh, to act on your uh, previous northbound authority, go ahead. Start in the north, northward position. So is your helper going to stay on, over? Yeah, he's going to stay on now, over. Good, because I might have another shove for him uh, going back the other way if he wants to make some money today, over. Oh, I do. <laughs> uh, fill, fill my pockets. <laughs> Alright, thank you, and yes, 254, uh, UP 8248 North. Okay, okay Chris, and just, just going to notch her up a bit and get going here. Go okay, ahead, over. Really here. Okay, I've got, uh, I got a six pound reduction on the brake pipe. With that, okay. horse, you're that one, you said you're a 1-1 one, one now? One. Point yeah, this, is, this has been uh, this has been an ordeal trying to get this Can train you at down least get this up uh, over Sanchez? All right, I'm moving four mile an hour. I doubt it very much. I'm gonna I'm gonna push it here. Go on, I have a plan. 
Well, I was saying, yeah. Done. Oh, okay. Babe. Yeah, hey, Jason, uh, the, the helper's off that uh, UP-8248 in Cliff now said they'll shove him going uh, the other way if we can get him to beat him. Okay, cool. Um, if, if you can't get to beat him, just let me know. Yeah, the way things are going, you might not make it to Bealville. <laughs> but yeah, if you get on it, tie on. Are you, so you're going to start, you'll, you'll start to shove on Hogger right before he stands it. Yep, that's what I was saying. I copy that. Sounds good. It's about your But that, uh, that UP helper uh, off that uh, 8248, he said he will do it, so. All right, Dave. Whenever you're ready, I'm gonna I'm gonna come up behind you after you pull out. Roger that. BSF 4471. Call it BSF 84. Yeah, 84 86. Uh, looks like you're gonna be tied on the back of us. Uh, where do you want us to stop here? Over you want to start pulling a bit there, please, Chris? Yeah, I got well, you. Why don't you set a counter for I don't know here cars passing across and over there and they're gonna let me know when you're stopped. Just gonna come on out over. Okay, we will uh, plan for that. Uh 4471. 8486. Yeah, it sounds like we're gonna go all the way up to Baina, so. Back there, bud. I'm just going by cliff siding here now, so the other end I'm expecting to be stopped.
Sorry, say again? I said you cut out if you're talking to me. I said, I think at this Park end of the cliff, you come around the corner and the signal's right there in your face. I, th I think so, yeah. All right, I got dynamics at eight, so we'll see uh, how we're doing when we get there. I can take some air off if I need to. Okay. He might have a guy coming up and he has He's to see saw bias. I think it's Harrison and Christian, I believe. Dispatch two five four, go ahead. I'm going to hold it at 5, Chris, until I see the signal. You're an independent off? Yep. Good trouble. Yeah,
there's a lot of curves in this siding. I'm not sure which one the signal's at. I thought it was around that last one, but it's not. You can't have your heads up display on, can you? I cannot, unfortunately. <laughs> that just raises the old challenge back, doesn't it? It does. It makes it too real. <laughs> I guess I could have started the counter. This is a two mile, well, 75, 20 foot. I should have started the counter. That would have been a good one. Now I think of it. Yeah, yeah right? Bob 92 <laughs> had an helpers in the tunnel. Roger, helper in the tunnel. We're halfway through the siding now. signal's just around this curve I'm on here. Uh, the southbound is still going by me, so we'll need to stop. Okay. But I don't see the signal yet.
South is just past the signal. He's just the right size to fit. All right, uh, GTP number two six three five one is valid. Good over. All right, copy that. Uh, so forty two eight as well. Yeah, just get a hold of the dispatcher over there, and then uh, there's already one in front of you waiting to come on out at the current junction. So you're second out at the current junction. Over. Copy that. 4471, answer it over. Alright, we're tied in, cut in. Got 80 back here. Uh, we've got enough for a test, so I think we should do a 10 pound reduction over. Okay, 4471 copies. Here comes the 10 pound reduction. Yay. Come on, Spatcher 254, BNSF uh, 9073 South. 9073, go ahead over. Yes, sir. Uh, confirming you do have your helpers on and you're ready to start pulling when I can get you going over. I have no confirmation of that yet, over. Yeah. Okay. He's still hanging out while I can't even get going. Okay. Alright, can he pull forward move or is that all he can go? I can give him the light up uh, through current junction. I can give him the light up by on here on the other end. Copy that. Uh, signal indication current junction at 9073. Signal indication current junction ahead clear. Right for that. 9073 off. Yes, yeah, so we got the reduction back here. Okay, 4471, we copy that, and uh, we'll uh, let this passenger know and head off. Clear signal. All right. Clear. 7592, clear south, cliff, body, main. Okay, we're going to start pulling back here. Yeah, let's back to 254, go ahead. 4471, we have our helpers tied on, and we're uh, good to proceed. Over. All right. Uh, Jack, can we get a good signal coming into Aller? Yeah, start pulling and, uh, and, uh... Roger that. I'll talk to you after he... Yeah, I he think never, he never pulled and gave it to Kelly and Day right now, so... Uh, he did not. Alright, I'll talk to you in a while. It's been two before I'll... Okay, we'll proceed and uh, talk to you later. Uh, 44 seconds on location. Roger, keep notification, 4471. Sorry, I'm out of here. Jason, thanks for hosting this as well. Oh, I'm just glad you had a good time. All right, you guys, catch you later. Peter, have a good one. Good night, about Later. 4471 to 8486. I'm going to release the brakes and uh, start pulling. Okay. Sounds good, 4471 up. BNSF 8486, dispatch to 54 over. Go ahead there, uh, BNSF 8486 over. Just kind of let you know, uh, switches are online and locked over here at, uh, Edison over the main track. All right. All right, copy that. Uh, you're all lined and locked behind you at Edison, main track number one. ONE on the move now, over. That is correct. 
Alright, copy that. Alright, copy that. Thanks for your help. Dispatcher 54 up. Clear signal, Beoville. Clear, Beoville. Yeah, there's nothing on the bulletin that pertains to us either. Yeah, but he was giving it out to the guy, so we better check the picture. Here's Christian, uh, you guys look good, uh, by me there, Cliff. Roger, thank you there, Chris. You guys look good as well, more by us on the main. You want me to give him a call and ask about it, or just wait to, for him to call me, or maybe he'll forget and we'll be good? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe we should ask about it just in case. You know where that is? There's I asked okay. one about it. You seem to think it's a couple more. Let me know if there's one more than that. Oh, okay. But even he wasn't quite sure. He just he, he said the PD was probably more than it sounded good though. Yeah, that makes sense. Clear signal, we'll be able to go You know, every time we say something about a sweet spot on this train, we have a problem, so we're not going to say any more about that. <laughs>
stop here on South Track 1. Uh, we just got nailed by the detector. <laughs> oh just God. past Summit. Uh, calling for a hot axle. We're going to get out and see what's going on. Okay, you'd be 
This grade it's going down here, it's only one and a half percent, but it looks an awful lot steeper than that. It, it does. It, it'll start leveling out down there at Caliente. We'll probably have to back off the dynamic here a bit. I do it all yeah, the time. I think once... I come down in there like thinking, oh boy, I'm going to have to hold this back, and all of a sudden it just it just falls right on its face. NSF yeah. NSF 973 and Spatcher Omaha 254. Yo, Omaha Spatcher 254, go ahead. Yeah, I'm moving along, but uh, my speed, I'm at eight knots, and my speed is starting to drop, so I'm hitting the grade, hitting the grade here. So, uh, should I stop and wait for the helper, or keep going until I can't go anymore? Negative, just stop right there as long as you're not blocking any crossings. And, uh, we'll get that helper out to you. Roger that. Come to a stop. Chris, I'm seeing a yellow over green here. According to the chart, that's an approach clear 50. Does that make sense? All right, yeah, this sheet I got here is not correct. Stand by, I'm just up on top of it here. Oh, all right, so BSF yeah, 
quite unfortunate for us. Uh, we found a third car ahead of the train has come off the track right here in the OS. So <laughs> Jesus. How did I know that would happen? <laughs> All right, stand by. Uh, BS7317, you copy that over? Oh man, that's true. You be on my dispatch at 254 the BSF 7317. UP 8248 North at the 15 mile an hour speed board. 4471, answer. We got not 16 anymore or any less. Ah, uh, that's working great right now. Thanks. Y'all must batch your 254 and UP 7592 over. 7592. Confirming no hazmat involved, no injuries over. Here. <laughs> uh, the car that is the culprit is the. Uh, Loaded pipe uh, bulkhead flat there. Here. Are the loads on the ground too, or are they still in the car? Uh, just the wheel set come on the ground. The whole car is still upright. Oh. Alright, so the loads didn't fall out of the car. No, nope, they're safely strapped on the car. Alright, so we have no hazmat fall, and confirming no injuries. Oh. That is correct. Everybody take no injuries. No hazmat involved. All right, so that that car didn't <laughs> fall off Incredible. the track. That car didn't derail into that train in the siding, though. No, it, it, it derailed on the right side, engineer side, uh, on the uh, cliff side, not the adjacent track. Okay, well, that, that's positive. No. All right, you be on Spectre 254, the BSF 7317. Okay. Uh, 73, 70 and answering, over. Uh, I know you don't have much time, but let me see if I can get this thing fixed up pretty quickly and get you moving, so I'll let you know in a second. If not, uh, you diverging clear at Kalyan. Diverging clear at so Kalyan. Yeah, well, hold on, Ed. Something you can do to help me. Yeah, there and over. Yeah. Alma Spatcher, 254, UP 7592, over. 7592, over. There, yeah, so I, I know in real life this would be the end of it. Yeah, I got the dynamic off as well, Chris. Because it wouldn't get fixed, okay, but uh, you know how to fix this there. thing. Uh, uh, my head end is just going by again. the speed board for 30 and yeah, 25 right, on the siding. Roger, 25. Give her a tug uh, on the rail. The I don't know if it's the siding or just the other. Yeah, do whatever you can do to fix it. Just do it the piglet way and get it out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm as well do it the piglet way since we're in session. There you right, go, buddy. Too many of them. One, too many. I am stopped. I'll mean? take the brake off. There's a lot of derailment. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, number's high. You can knock the air off and then maybe go back out. Yeah, I know. Are, are they just because of the helpers or what? I doubt it. Okay. Just a thought. I'm not blaming the helpers. I'm just saying maybe there's something in the sim where the helpers are. Back here. I hear you. I'll look into it. Yeah. All right, Harrison. Let me know uh, what you're gonna be doing there. Cause then, yeah, we're uh, going on to main two at 25 mile an hour. That's in the siding. If he's short on his hours. So. I got my counter. Yeah, Roger. We got it all rerailed, and uh, we're gonna try to give her another move here. All right. Let me know. Some better out. Yep. 25 mile. Yeah, uh, let me know if you need 
you can talk about a signal at Kern Junction, if you uh, can get a light signal indication, have a job briefing with that BNSF 9073 uh, before you make any moves against the rear of this train over. Plug an advanced approach right now. Copy that. All right. Uh, signal indication. I got uh, like notch four in dynamics now. Engineer at the BNSF 9073 before you uh, make any moves against this train. Roger, Roger. Sounds like a plan. About 54 out. 725 out. Crossovers and take you south again. That's what I'm figuring, yeah. So just set your, uh, I guess when we get to Santa Cut, just set your counter, you know, just somewhere a good ways on the other side there, give me plenty of room. Roger that. 8486, 4471. 4471, uh, still looking good up here. Um, so I start maybe coming back a couple in preparation that we have to stop up here at uh, Caliente. Alright, I'll back off a couple. Looks like on the map, Chris, that once we get out the other end of Elman, we can do track speed at 50. Um, I don't know about the siding. I'm not sure what the speed is in that side. I'm going to guess it's the same. Ha! I go. <laughs> it, it says track 225. So, I guess, I, I think 25, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, uh, between Caliente and Elman on track 2, that new one they put in, is that both track 2? My knowledge, you know, was over. Okay. Just want to make sure the map says 25. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't help but laughing. 
the southbound just going by me. Okay, copy it off. Wait for 10 minutes. Thank you, sir. 73. I have no clue, Jason. I'm going through the entire train and there's like a bunch of that derailed. What happened? Like I said, I was going about 23 miles an hour around this curve. I had Chris pushing me up the hill and then next time I know when I came through North Rowan, bam, just stopped. And I see my chat gets to spam with car this has derailed, car this has derailed, car this has derailed. I'm like, oh boy, this is not good. It looks, yeah, like it, clear the 15, Jack. it looks like it's corrupt. Clear the 15, here we it's go. Just uh, going back and forward. Uh, 4471, uh, answer it. Uh, still to do it up here. Okay, we're still got it. Want to be back off in here? Uh, okay, for now. Uh, I'm just trying to see the next up here when it comes around. Chris, do you want to just go to idle and I'll pull you along for a bit? We are. We're on approach uh, to uh, Caliente. Okay. Just waiting for the next signal. Okay, clear signal. Roger, clear. So Harrison just set a world record. He put an entire train on the ground. <laughs> Pretty much, Chris. It's always good to be number one. So. Hey, good mark to play. Yeah, pretty much. I'm looking at my windshield to see if he walks through the tunnel while still re-railing cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm right next to the car that's next to the car that's into the tunnel. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're right next to the car that's 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 derailed. Although, I gotta pretty say, much. I'm pretty disappointed you guys didn't put re-railing frogs under every single car and re-rail the entire train in one go. Yeah, but we're in a session. We're not in for that kind of mess. Yeah, but Harrison, the session is supposed to be realistic. That is true. All right, do you want us to stop everything that we're no, doing I and put the frogs on everything? Uh, Jason, it's obviously it's not your your bad. Oh, and I don't think realistic it was 50 below. <laughs> Nine bad orders and three engines. Well, you know what's realistic about it is the way some of these yards build trains nowadays. If, I have a doubt this happening. Putting a bulk, empty bulk end flat between two loads, something like that. Yeah. 4471 to uh, 8486, clear signal Caliente, you can bring a couple more notches up. Okay, clear signal Caliente, we'll come up a couple more notches. I just don't know what, like, what could have happened because this thing was running fine the entire way up. Be on my dispatcher 44 BSF 4471 South. Of it. Jackson's, we're down off the heavy grade. Uh, Be on my dispatcher 254 BSF 4471 South. Well, the graph is showing 1.46% uh, down. Okay. Yeah, that's up for you. And I'm running You're the dynamic at So you're going to be going to okay. Bealville. Uh, it's a mess ahead of you there, so no no need to break any speed records getting up the hill. Just do it safely. Um, and then we'll see how things look when you get up there. It'll level out at okay, the end of the Okay, yeah, safely and slowly to Bealville, 4471. Okay. That's correct. All right, uh, you'd be all modest about your 254. You'd be 7592 over. Hey Jason, what do you want him to do? Is he going to, if you think that train's corrupt, he's just going to zap the whole thing out I of think it put it in your TMU and try to put it back in and see what you can do with it. I, I don't think we're really 18 or 25 of those cars to be good. Copy that, Harrison? Yeah, I copy that. Uh, I got them all three rail, but uh, if, you want us, if you want us to go ahead and do that, we can. Yeah. I can't imagine that it could derail that much. That's the book. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Well, I, 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 let me know what you can do, because I got that guy in row in there, and, uh... Oh, yeah. I don't want to have 
bring him out anymore, especially if he's only got like a half hour of action. Hey, you know what? I'll just do that. If you feel my special 254 BSF 7317, over. Yeah, 7317, go ahead, over. Yeah, you probably have a half hour <laughs> left. Uh, so go that ahead. That was a funny sequence there. Tie it down. Then. Well, I'll, let's see if he can respond this thing. So hold on here. I'm going to have a clear signal, Chris. Clear. 725 calling 1973. There's some cows taking a drink in the creek. Go ahead, over. Three steps, please. Reset. Harrison Kong, Jason. Unable to use TFU due to permission. Yeah, give me a second. I'll give it to you. Yep. Get us up to 8519. Stop. Start again. Y'all want to spatch your 254 at BSM 8519. 8519, go ahead. Sir, what are your hours of service like? Well, since I'm getting paid, I got all day. Yeah. Copy that, it's Metro. 8519 out. Okay, Jay, it's 90 on the rear, 140 in the main. Roger, let me come in to you. I got not, uh, not quite there yet. Okay. I imagine it's 25 through here because of this crazy curve at the north end of Ilmen. Uh, it might be, yeah. Uh, I don't know, this is my first time running in this. On this track. I never yeah, me too, not since version 2. Yeah, but in version 2, you know, it ended back here, so it's like this is, this is all new in here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Very nice. Hey, Jason, I got around 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. All right, yep. Well, there's some in the creek on the left, and I'm just going by some on the right here in the field. Yes, 
Y'all want to dispatch your 254 over. NSF 4284, uh, or 4282, uh, requesting a uh, signal on current junction over. Copy that. Heads up, there is a train ahead. They're getting their helpers together, so, uh, yeah, you're probably not going to be going very far, so make sure, just make sure you don't block any crossings. If you think you're going to block any, just stay where you're at, and then when they start moving on, you know, but signal indication if you want to take it over. Okay, I guess. I don't, I don't know if it did. Get us a point two eight two out. Twelve pounds, Jason. You still moving, Harrison? Yeah, we're one seventy five nine two is an emergency again. We're we're double checking again. Stand by. As soon as you're clear uh, and on the main. Are you on the main? Yeah, but I got smoke coming out from one of my engines again. Yo! I don't understand why. Are you Everything showing that brake cylinder pressure? Yeah, the AI button's not showing up on it. He won't be able yeah, to AI. Did you release the tape? Yes, oh, okay. I did. I got 132 on the main. ER and BP are 90. Don't understand. All right, here we go. Well, I'm going over the detector right, yeah, here, sir. So we're going to get nailed uh, here for sure. And then we'll, have, we'll have Jason AI. Yeah, it's relinquished now. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Yeah, see if I look at the heads up bar. Thanks, Randy. Go ahead. Hi, Jason. See you. I hope you had a good time. Brilliant. Thanks. Yeah, your units are showing up as red dots there, Chris. Do you want me to, oh, you're not cut in, so I can't do the F7. Here we go, notching up. Release 
independent. Oh, there you go. It's clear now. I did the F7. Yeah, but now it's probably tied my engine back into the train. So if you, you make a well, it won't, it won't matter. Just back here, me right back. I mean, we're gonna cut away the top of the hill anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Yeah, we're gonna cut away, and I'm just coming into being here now, so that's good. Okay. If that detector trips, let's just keep going. Don't even worry about it. Roger that. I don't know what caused that. Diverging clear, Bina. You're using some of those new units too, right? They're pretty buggy. Yeah, it could be the Dash 9, I don't know. Dodge 4, she slipped once. signal at the bottom of the hill at the, at the BNF, and I'm just going to knock the signal down. Two forty eight at the top of the hill. Roger, I'm all against you. I'm going to team out this. Scott, thank you. Scott, you are saving me here. Yeah, Harrison. Clear signal, sand cut. Clear sand cut. Sand cut, Chris. I'm going to start the counter. All right, Roger. UP Omaha dispatcher 254. I want to cut her back a bit there, Chris. I've already knocked her down. There's a crossing just uh, north of those signals. We'll have to pull you clear of that.
I'm gonna put some dynamic in and slow us down. Alright, I'm just about to talk to you. This is a 1% down here, it's a bit misleading. Alright Dave, you can take control of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've, some heavier trains, you gotta use air to hold it back. Oh yeah. I like that section, you can go over the top real fast and set to air. That's, that's a fun part right there. Oh yeah, it's good. Alright, all over the top. Alright, I've got air on uh, yeah, track, track, but minimum reduction. Doing okay for now. Uh, can't see the signal yet at uh, 10 boundaries. Something to be a little bit which you want to get. Okay. Alrighty. UP 8909 ES 254. Kellogg's Patrick 254 glad. Alright, Dispatcher, we lost uh, our third unit. Uh, we have we have uh, two units still up and running. We're gonna try to proceed south. We have definitely lost all our dynamic braking. We did do a brake test and I think we're ready to continue right, trying to head south. Anyway, get stopped, it'll be good. All right, I'm gone pretty deep there now. We'll just have to wait for it to stop. Okay, uh... Do you feel it's safe to proceed? Uh, go ahead and proceed, uh... South there on May 1 to Lake Lawn. I'm spoken again. Let's see if we can fix that up. Yeah, I think we should be good. We'll take it slow and see what happens here. Okay, yeah, and I guess they just want you to take that thing uh, past Fleeta then over. Or did you want to did you want to go all the way on the Palmdale cutoff over? Uh, yeah, I thought it was I'll going to. Stop back here, Jack. I'll take uh, some three step. Just I'll stop. Three step. That correct over. Yeah, that that's correct. Yeah, you can take it down there and then delete it. Okay, that sounds good. Alright, thank we'll, you so much, uh, Sounds good, UP 8909. 4471 to 8486, uh, stop signal at uh, Beulville. Start uh, notching it back, it'll bring you to a stop anywhere here. Alright, you got a stop signal, we'll uh, start throwing on uh, back here. Here comes an F7. 8486 to the head end, we're stopped back here, over. 4471, head end stop as well, thank you. You know what? I'm looking at the graph across the top, Chris, and I have to release my independent for yours to release, so they're tied together somehow. Are you serious? Well, when I F7'd it, yours didn't release, and then I released my independent, and then they, they went from red to white. So you're white now, so you shouldn't have any brakes on there now. And I've got the handbrakes on the train. Alright, you're connected up again and you're red again on the grass. Yeah, 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 I didn't I didn't put enough uh, power behind it to get away from the end of the train. I don't see you there now, I guess you're good, eh? Dispatcher 
54. Alright, I'll run back and drive. 4471, answer it, over. I'm gonna move you up the cliff. I'm gonna stop you on the main. I have a northbound at Woodford. It's 5,200 feet. I'll put him in the siding and meet you there, cliff, over. Okay, we'll move up to uh, Cliff, and I plan to stop on the... Uh, yeah, please stop it off. That's correct, it's about 254 on. Do you have... Does the EOT happen to be attached to the head end up there or something? 8486, we're back from the seat. Ready to go when you are. No, there's no EOT indication. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to release the, the uh, train brakes right now. Okay. I'm going to delete this power. It won't do it. It won't do it. Damn. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to relinquish and then take it the train again. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, uh, yeah, that might. PCS just opened up. Oh, my God. That is correct. Zero four MPH. Oh, I'll copy run. that. Got your up. Baby steps. Here. Baby steps. All right, Jack. I gotta wait for you to take off before I can put this back. All right, I'm just waiting for the brakes to pump up here. Okay, I'll do an F7. Here we go. We did this earlier. During testing, and it ran, it ran just fine. Like you could spawn him in real close. So. Well, that was fun. It was, despite all of its tribula trials and tribulations, it was. And I've learned a lesson. Oh, I just lost my PCS. To, what the uh, hell? 84, uh, 86. Uh, we're moving here in the head end now into uh, notch eight, so you can push uh, as much as you can. All right, uh, headed for notch eight on the 8486. Yeah, you broke a knuckle back here. Might have something to do with your DP. I was, yeah, maybe it didn't uh, power up or went the wrong way. So I wasn't pulling that hard. No, I can't get back in. UPO minus patch at 44, UP 7786, over. 7786, over. Gotta wait for Jack to get out of the way so I can spawn back in. What's your HPT now with the helpers, over? 2.8. So it's 2.8, you're still at 4 miles an hour, over? Yeah, our amperage is at 12.06 right now, and she's been steady ever since we started pulling from the south end there, over. I don't know, that, there's something, that doesn't seem right, uh... Not from the trains I yanked up there, but... You're all your trailing units loading? Yeah. 2.8 going up the hill at 4 miles an hour? I mean, uh, that's something, something's not right there, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what you guys... Well, we're not, but... we're not in full throttle yet. We're trying to baby it up. Well, that had something to do with it. Yeah, and now this thing doesn't want to move. There's something wonky going on train. here. Right now. Okay, so uh, adding another helper to you is not gonna, what we need then. Over. Negative. Copy that. You okay, Dave? 
Seems to be going good. Notch four. Yeah, I'm all bunched in. Are you an eight? Yeah, so you can troll away. Okay. That's how, that's how it's supposed to work. 4471 to 84.86, uh, advance approach 34.14, still looking good up here. Advance approach 34.14, still yeah, good where we're at. Drop these in right here. 84.86 Have we gotten any trains over the mountain yet with helpers? We got the sand cut and I cut away. Thank God. Hey, helper there at sand cut, uh, you ready to start going back? Well, I don't think I need you at the, the north end here. Are you ready to go back over the hill? Over? Uh, yeah, Juan, can I uh, can I drop these engines back in south of Sandcut? Jack's having problems up here. I need to drop them in because I think because they were bugged. I think. Okay, where you need the light there at Sandcut? No, can I spawn them back in on uh, the south track or uh, north track two at Sandcut? Yeah, sure, go ahead. There we go. Okay. Not eight, geez. Okay. There we go. Okay. Be on my dispatcher 254 to the BNSF 91. 81 South. Oh. 9181 South, go head over. Alright, confirming your uh, movement there, uh, approaching San Cato. Yeah, we're moving, notch 8, 23 miles per hour. Copy that. Okay. Play to help for Omaha 254. The Omaha Spectre 254, go ahead over. Okay, our uh, north leader. South leader is going to be uh, UP 9741. We're ready to go here in Sand Cut. Whatever you want us to do, if you want to go back toward Bain or cross us back over here in Sand Cut and then go north, whatever you want to do. Okay, so uh, you need to, you need to still assist that UP 8248. No, we're done with them. Okay. Uh Hey, Jason, where do you think we... I'm, I'm going to be leaving here in about 10 minutes. I know, which means I'm going to have to DPU his train and become the dispatcher. So, yeah, send him back. You mean back towards Fleeta, right? Yeah, I don't know how much more we're going to be able to run. So, Chris, if you want to park those and take over this, I'll dispatch. It's whatever. You want me to dispatch, Jason? I can do that. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Let okay. Me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Chris. Uh, let me knock down the single second. You can tuck those in the Vena helper spur for me. So what you can do is go go south, south of Vena, and then we'll get to the light. Uh, there, put those away in uh, in the Vena helper pocket, and then just go ahead and dispatch after that. Okay, so okay, south from where I stand, uh, down toward uh, Vena. That's correct. Here we go. Yeah, go down there, take that light. Let me know when you're south of Vena there, and then I'll get to the light back in there, and you can take over from me. Okay, Roger. Copy that. You be Omaha, Special 254 BSM 9181 over. 9181, go ahead over. I have permission to knock down the signal and uh, main one at uh, CP Sandcut there, and then I'll just cross you over, and you can go uh, one to two at Sandcut there. Over. Roger that. You got permission to knock down the signal over. Copy that. Okay, so we're going to dispatch now. Let me bleed it out there, and then we'll cross you over and keep going. Roger. Forty-four seventy-one to eighty-four eighty-six. Uh, approach into uh, cliff. Uh, why don't you come back by uh, two or three notches? Approach into cliff. We're gonna knock it off a couple of three notches. Forty-four seventy-one. Oh. Jason, is that UP 8248, that Portland Manifest? Does he just keep going off the territory over there? Yep. Copy that. DS2, uh, UP 8248 North calling DS254. Go ahead there, UP 8248. I'll 
Okay, there are help was all cut off and we are proceeding north. Over. Copy that signal indication down there, Kern Junction. Over. Signal indication, uh, Kern Junction, thank you, Engine 48 out. You almost spent your 254 out. I think these helpers are a little buggy, Chris, because when I when you cut off, I had to relinquish the train and take it again. And but anyway, we got her going. Yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, if that if that leaves some after effects after I'm cut away or what that does. Well, we got her out over the road, and that's all that matters. Yeah, we weren't we weren't in the way too much. Yeah.
park this in the helper pocket and uh, I'm going to start dispatching the office up for more. It has to be. Um, and then while that's going on, we'll bounce around from train to train and just, just to keep things you know, moving. Juan, you did a hell of a job. Got a good job today, bud. South, DS-254, over. Kill my dispatcher. 54, go ahead, over. Yes, sir. Appreciate your dispatching today. Well, you guys have a good day. Hey, man, thanks for coming out. You have a safe one. Is that Brian? Yes, sir. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Jason. It was awesome. Great as always. Can't wait for the next one. Cool, thank you. Ninety one eighty one, the Virgin Clear, sixty second. The Virgin Clear. Hey Jason, I just stuck that uh, AI in, in there in Washington. Do whatever you want. All right. Jason on Whisper. Hey Jason, I'm uh, I'm all in the clear here. I'm ready. Uh, Flayda Helper, Omaha 254. Yeah, you PLMOS back to 254, all right. All in the clear in the vein of Helper Pocket, uh, South Track 2, line and lock normal, over. Copy that. Okay, uh, just get a hold of Jason and you can take over uh, the dispatching here. All right. Hello, Jason. It's all you, Chris. I'll get the permissions right now. All right. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you. You guys Hey, thanks, Juan. See you. Well done, Juan. Thanks, Juan. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey. Oh, no, it was my pleasure, man. We'll do it again. You guys have a good one. Thanks again. EP7786, south uh, northbound of Woodford. Channel is good. Marker hanging. User disconnected. Appreciate it, soldier. Over. What we got going on? Yeah, Roger. Ew, it's all watered down. Okay, it ain't working. Mm. Oh boy, okay. Chris, if you're definitely going to be at the next...
next one. I'll do a retro cajon since you missed it. That'd be fun. I have a feeling we'll be doing something else though. Okay. So. Jason, I've got you here on a whisper if you didn't hear me before. Jason, are you hearing me all whisper? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Right, you want anyone to help her? We're notching down to seven. We're heading down the hill. Sorry, buddy. That's all good. Stop one for clear. Seventy-seven eighty-six. SF 8519 of the Manifest of Woodford. I'm glad to see y'all making some progress. Train looks good. Yeah, we're doing our best here. Uh, can help with with the way the train was handling. Uh, or... Jason, what's this stuff on the BNSF at Sanborn and Bissell? They're staged trains. If you want to run them as AIs, you can. I don't know how many more crews we're going to have. The coal train's a piece of crap. It needs to go. We're never going to run it. Which one is it? It's the Toronto one. No, no, no. Which? Where? It, where oh, where it's in the it? siding at Sanborn. It's the Toronto one? So is it going to need a crew? Because it's got to go to Toronto, right? right? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, what's the one at Bissell? I think it's a Z train. Okay, I'll run that. Is I that think that's okay. Yeah, as long as that's what it is. Mm, nope, it's a K backpack. So that's a helper. Yeah. UP7522 stop for a... Oh, well, there's an AI at Seiko that we could run. Okay. As soon as uh, Jack clears. I'm frustrated. Oh, that's alright, buddy. Uh, do you care if I slap a train together and throw it up at there at uh, Sanborn to run? AI it? I have one. Give me a minute. Okay. I don't know if you're busy or not. I'll tell you what, Chris. Put a geometry train in there. Do like an ST70, a baggage car, and like two cars. Yeah, okay. All right?
See if we can do as good as them, Dave. We'll see. Oh, whoops. Sam, please. What? Where's the... Back in the need. Oh, oh. I, uh, I'm, I'm in four. I'm, I'll get there. Make sure they're not still in the CSX business cars. Okay, they're not. That's a good symbol for this thing. I knew you were going to ask me that. Hold on a second. G bar fres. G? I, I found O was office car special. Okay, we can do O. It's either O or G, one or the other. I think G's loaded grain trains. Now G is gonna be work trains, work work trains or work gang. Oh, did they they change them? Yeah, it looks like that, but we can do O. Oh, that oh, that. If I use O I'll know what it stands for. <laughs> And then behind him, run, run, run one of those grain trains. Okay. How do they run those? Like, what's their layout? Uh, three by two by one. How many cars are in them? About 120.
see here. Um, and, uh, or three by one by two, however you want to do it. It's six one half dozen or the other. I think you see what I'm saying, Chris. I don't know. Just I'm throwing just ram symbols in there. <laughs> UPM Omaha two fifty four BNSF forty four seventy one over. 471, answer it, over. Okay, I got a, I got a northbound coming through row, and once he goes, uh, it'll be your light there at Cliff, uh, taking south, over. Okay, waiting for one, and then taking it south. 4471, over. Roger. So let's see here. I'm going to run this... I'm gonna run Dave up to at least Beulville and I'm gonna see if I can squeeze. I'm gonna see how this plays out here at Allard. They do put these sweet yard board signs now too. Look like they're running pretty smooth right now. This is a this is an AI here too. Well, that'll wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna make ledge wait again for an AI.
Couple of strike, 320 and rising. <laughs> Here to the Red Cross and listen to him blow for the Red Cross and everything. Stop better, Dave. Couple first strike, 370 and rising. You gotta back off, bud. Notch off. You have to. I'll come into you with eight, and then you control it. I'm at seven now. Couple of strikes, it went down to 330. Mm. Yeah, that didn't do it. That didn't reveal the train symbol. That's okay. Oh, symbol mode? There we go. Okay, that's good to know. Get Dave through Caliente. Uh, I'm trying to think how I want to run this here, Peelville. BSF 8519, approach medium 334.9. Geometry trains are going to make good time. They might end up meeting uh, Ledge at Marcel. We'll see how that plays out, too. Oh god, how long is... Okay. Whew. Didn't check his footage before I let him go. Of course, I should have made it a UP geometry train. That would have made more sense. <laughs> I don't know. Here's... <laughs> South approach, Elmont Hudson. Omaha 254, BNSF 8519, over. 8519, go ahead. Just let you know you will not have a signal at North Cliff, the uh, 4471's hanging out down there. Once uh, once you get in the clear at South Cliff, I'll give him the light and I'll keep you moving, but you do not have a light at North Cliff right now. Okay, 
Copy that. We did not have a south, the north end. Eighty-five nineteen out. User was moved out of your channel. User left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. You were moved. User was moved to your channel. If you can't copy and User was moved to your channel. User was moved to your channel. This is the car that caused all the User problems, was really. moved to your <laughs> channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your channel. There we go. Now we're all one big happy family. Yay. Yeehaw. I don't know about that. Hey, Boy, David, at least you're moving. Hunter's the only one happy here. We're all just living. I would not say that the word happy is synonymous with Dave. And I've known him a good number of years. That, that is fun. right. Apprehensive? <laughs> That's perfect! I just have to stay in seven. Yeah, I'm an eight, so like I said, you might have to drop the six. That's just how it works. Yeah, she's about 270, so we're not too bad. Yeah, rip the part, put it on the ground, and just be a There she goes. Oh, boy. Just went in the hole. We broke. <laughs> hey, Dale, I didn't need you at all. Didn't do anything, just moving along. She broke. session guys Jason thanks for putting it together no problem Jack oh you guys have a good day and a good rest of the weekend thank you too buddy see you Jack have a good one see ya there you are Jack user disconnected yeah, from your channel well we still have the same length uh, so we can't break apart any place I don't know what's going on now like I said maybe you're on the ground yeah, I'm going on the train here a while, I'll look at it. Should give you a message, Dave, if you're on the ground. Yeah, I didn't see any message. Is that the good eye or the bad eye?
flip the engines, I made them all elephant style. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Omaha 254, BNSF 4282, over. BNSF 4282, go ahead, over. Uh, I got one in emergency ahead of you, strung out through Caliente, so uh, watch yourself there, uh, uh, over. Okay, one of the from your ahead channel. of me, uh, copy that, uh, uh, BNSF 4282F. Can you hear the train running from over here? Okay, let's see. Good OS, there's that light. 4471 to 8486, over. Start notching up, Jace. It's a, it's a DPU, Dave. What was that? I made it a DPU. BSF uh, 4471, call it BSF 8486, over. 8486, over. Got a clear signal up here now. I'm going to pull off the air, so start leaning in. Alright, clear signal. Here we go. I don't even know how I'm still here. I've been up since 2.30. Are you notched up? I made it a DPU, Dave. Just go ahead and fence it. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. I'm not going to have to change the dispatcher screen. Has anyone else had the problem with the fail to load K5HL horn? Yeah, it must be a problem. You're not the first you told me that. Yeah, I've got a okay. few. How you making out, Dave? Yep, my DPU's notched up here, so we'll see. Try to head in. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I love it. 
Definitely. Probably would have said yeah, I'd sleep. I'll try and get them to you next time a better way. Is there a way to make them show up on the, uh, you know, the in cap screens, or is that only if they're only if they're restrictions? Okay. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Maybe the next time we do this, can we do maybe uh, try a '90s session? It's funny you say that. Well, I have one ready to go for home. Uh, nice. Yeah, I like that Mohawk one we did for the '90s. Yeah, we're gonna do that again. People really did like it. Lots of Conrail. Listen, as long as you guys keep encouraging me, it's worth it to me. It just it beats me up for a couple days after. Well, thank you. Thanks a bunch for putting this together. We had, I saw at least 25 on at one point. Yeah, we were darn near close to 30, which is good. I think it was like 27 or 28. Didn't you say you were well, pushing your, your team speak, speak limit? limit? No, 50 is my time. It's being Oh. It's my own server. So I got him lined up the way long because he'll have to meet the geometry train. The problem is when integral people start leaving, it kind of it kind of falls apart, and then it becomes really hard to manage. But thank Wyatt and uh, thank uh, thank uh, uh, Mark for making the bulletins. But Wyatt built all the trains. I built the locals. This was a, a session put on by Jason. So it was like kind of private, I guess. The server is down here on the floor. And at one time, we asked me to do something, Chris. I was sitting down there. <laughs> and then I couldn't get up. Spend whole day on the floor. Before. So you're calling me, and I'm like, I, I can't get up. I did finally, but it took me like 10 minutes. You didn't call for help? Ah, help! What's that in there? Yeah, we got moving again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, Dale, they still need to do a little bit of work on those helpers. I wonder if the physics are correct. Physics are correct. Okay, cool. wasn't without incident, but we made it. My, my wheels kept getting hot, even though I wasn't even tied into the train's airline. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it, the, the trailing two units had, they kept smoking and they had two pounds in a brake cylinder, but I couldn't bail off to, to get them to work. Go ahead and pop this guy. 
use the forward arrow key would fail it. Um, it's on the rail driver, and it, it was bailing. I didn't have any problem bailing off before then. So I, I had no idea. I, we tried everything I could think of. The only thing we had to do was to cut away and then tie back in without connecting the airline. And that still didn't totally solve the problem. We're just going to have to keep playing with it, Chris. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it worked for the most part, though. Thank you, 07 DS 26. Six back in the chair. 907, I'll tie down at the west end of Shirley. I copy that. Crew van should be there shortly. Back in the line. 8519, diverging approach medium, field view. Is it, did it want to leave for the day? Yeah, he, um, He's, uh, he can only handle so much. Well, hey, Mark, how are you? So this map is going pretty straightforward right now. I don't anticipate too many problems. Okay, guys, I'm done with my uh, ballast laying, uh, and I'll check you all next time. Thanks for uh, playing along with us here at the Convoy. There we go, Mike. See ya, Mike. See ya. Later, guys. Mike. See ya. User disconnected from your channel. Seventy-seven eighty-six helper approach to version three fifty-five six. Yeah, I'm not bad. Work's been having me. Uh, work's been busy, but doing all right. UP Omaha 254, BNSF 8519, over. 8519. We're going to meet two in Allard, and then I'll get you moving. Cover that, two in Allard, 8519 out. Yeah, the first one, he's already he's already south of Caliente, so it shouldn't be too much longer. And the other one's right behind him. Copy, not a problem, I got the time. Roger. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm a couple of strength is 340, and I'm at 11 miles an hour and 6 and 8. Oh, man. Don't worry, Auger. It's precision railroad. Don't have to drop down to 5 here, otherwise she'll break.
NSF 8519, 8th Road, Real Road Crossover. GS 26, 316. Harrison, Jamaica. Slowly but surely, Dave, 10 mile an hour up this hill ever since Rowan. Yeah, I'm down to 8 miles an hour. I'm at notch 5 when they head in. Sorry, you're having such a time, Dave. No mid DPUs. Hey, bro. Oh. All right, just delete it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We just didn't do a very good job with that one. Sorry, bud. That's all right. We tried. We did. All right, Ash, you're going to meet one and a half there at Allard. <laughs> Copy, one and a half. I think the, the half's already by you there. I think. What do you think of the call board, Ash? Are you going to come back? Oh, yeah, I'm here for the entertainment. <laughs> start beating myself up. The rest of my train is moving down the hill. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I can't delete it. Alright, I'm coming. There we go. So much for being an emergency, huh? SF thirty two fifty nine East. Harrison, what was your tonnage? Nine thousand two twenty six. Yeah, I had almost fourteen thousand. I think that was a little too much. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, with that. Is anyone still dis? Anyone still dispatching? Yeah, both desks are still on. Dispatcher BNSF thirty two fifty nine East. Is that a symbol engine number again? Three two five nine. Go ahead, over. On the work work lead here at uh, ba East Bakersfield, I'd like to proceed huh. to to Barstow, over. All right, copy that. Um, person out between Bakersfield. Person out on the main two CWL track between Bakersfield Kern Junction. Go ahead and head on down to Kern Junction. Talking to the UP dispatch for a light. All right, authorized to occupy main two. TWO to Kern Junction, and then contact uh, UP dispatch there, uh, BNSF 3259. That's that. This 
Also, we shouldn't be leaving the stage to think off a free change. Oops. Yep. Uh, yeah, Mark, when every time you, when you jump around, it plays the, the, the Star Trek transporter. Noise. Hey, do you like, um, Blink-182? Uh, a couple of their songs. Yeah, I can't get, I can't get that, uh, small things out of my head. <laughs> All the small things! What's the other one? Wish You Were Gone? Yeah, Wish You Were Gone. Gone, that's a good song, too. <laughs> that's so funny. What is? <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to calm down over here. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not overly satisfied with how it went down. Uh, I, I am. I'm having a blast. Glad you had a blast. Did your peeps like it? So far, I didn't hear anybody say it wasn't good. <laughs> Roger that. that. We're, we're, we're having problems. Yeah, you know, we're in emergency and stuff. Mass down here put trains on the ground in Cali. <laughs> that was yeah. You guys handled that so well. Too. I love that. That was that was fun just to listen to. Yep, good. You got the whole shebang. Talk to Wyatt.
I don't know why you like me, but I'm glad you do. <laughs> What's going on on the Bakersfield side? I have no idea what the hell's going on over here. <sighs> Mike was dumping ballast, but he's done now, so there's like a 10 or 15 mile per hour restriction between, uh, between Guernsey and, uh, I think, Shirley. So that, like, entire double track section. And then I guess he's running AI Amtrak's. There's not much out there other than that Amtrak and this uh, BNSF guy here, Kevin. He just got started. UP Omaha 254, BNSF 4471, over. BNSF 4471, answer it, over. You guys will have a brief pause at Marcel. I gotta get the geometry train in the siding there, and then we'll uh, keep going south here. Okay, uh, brief pause at Marcel for 4471, over. Roger, 254. Forty-four seventy-one to uh, BNSF eighty-four eighty-six over. BNSF eight-four eight-six over. Uh, advance approach into uh, Waylong. Uh, looks like we can plan a stop at uh, Marcel. Advance approach into Waylong. Stopping at Marcel. Roger. User left your channel. User joined your channel. H pass bar, okay. UP dispatcher 254 from BNSF 3259 East. Over. Go ahead, BNSF 3259. Over. Yes, sir. Rolling up on current junction, main two. Uh, looking for the light. Over. Okay, uh, let me see if I can get you here. I got uh, a southbound. Okay, I got southbound just south of Kern Junction, so signal indication there, you'll be following one. All right, sir, our signal indication following one for BNSF 3259. All right, Roger, 254 out. BNSF 8519, the 4282, train look good, light on the rear. BNSF 4282 to the BNSF 8519, your train also looks good, hope we're having a safe trip. Appreciate it, have a good one. 8519 out. BNSF 4282 out. Brent, I hope you come back, you're doing a great job. Thanks. Oh, hello, Izzy. Yes, CP does stand for control point.
else was that? I don't know where Tunnel 4 was. I can't I can't quite remember where Tunnel 4 was. Tunnel 5. Well, I mean, I guess Tunnel 4 was, like, right here. I guess. I mean, I know from West Virginia, but that map don't add up, so... Southbound. Alright, things are pretty much where they need to be. Things copacetic, it looks like. 4471 to 8486, or. BNSF 8486, over. We're on approach now, uh, why don't you go ahead and pull back a couple notches? Okay, we'll back off a couple notches, here we go. Roger, thanks. Things are pretty much winded down now at this point. Just a handful of moves left to make. Probably another hour before he shows up here to Hatchby. Oh, here he comes. Thank you. 
Harrison, you're like the little engine that could. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Why are there... Why are there four mile posts right here? That's funny. No one's ever mentioned that before. I think our as a service says we're going to blow up as soon as we get them to Mojave. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Hello. Hey, Jason. Awesome. Dale, I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, yeah. There's only one industry left here on 316. Thank you. The rest of it's done. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, Dale. you All right, no worries, and I'll get the other to you. Thanks. You bet. Have a good one. You too. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah. 4471 to 8486, clear signal now. Go ahead and notch back up. All right, we got a clear at uh, Marcel, uh, back up to eight. shot with that tree back here. I need more I need more screenshots for my next intro video so excuse me. DNSF forty two eighty two to uh DS two fifty four over. DS two fifty four over BNSF uh, 4282, I think uh, we have uh, the Sky Unit Alarm over. Okay, you've got a unit alarm. Um, are you able to keep moving? Uh, for now, although I think I kind of want to stop in order to see, see what the problem is. Over. Okay, if you can, try to get it south of the north end of Cliff there. I'll let that Z train go. But uh, yeah, see so if you can, if once you clear the, the north end of Cliff, you can go ahead and bring it to a stopper and check it out. Okay, copy that. Uh, NSF point two eighty two M. User left your channel.
Yeah, they, that's what they want you to do, they just blow them up. Crap out of here. SF 4471, diverging, diverging advance approach, cable, southbound, out. BNSF 4282 south to DS 254, over. DS 254. Uh, BNSF 4282, it seems like there isn't any, any issues with the locomotive. It also seems like the unit alarm also disappeared after a little bit of swap. Okay, uh, nothing found, and the alarm is uh, has gone. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, south, signal indication south cliff, over. Signal indication south cliff, NSF 4282 If I had to guess, one of your units overheated or got hot. Because I've had that happen before too, where the alarm will come on and then disappear. Maybe that could have been the case. NSF 3259 East, approach medium 322.4, main two, for correction, main one. Did you want to run something else? Jason, how much longer are we going to go here? Well, I don't really know if it matters. If you guys want to try and get to the top of the hill, I'm fine with that. So an hour? Okay, I don't know how much more I'm going to do here. Okay, well, then let's call it quit. 
go ahead and stop where we are. I mean, I don't want to stop anybody if anybody else is, you know, having fun here. I don't want to ruin it for anybody else. Yeah, but it's, we're at a point where we're kind of dwindling down. Oh, we're almost to the top. Give us a few more minutes. Well, that's what I said, Eric. Go ahead and make it to the top. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll hang around and let these guys get to the top then. You okay with that? You want all yeah, trains train. on the Bakersfield to stop as well? No, keep going. Okay. You want me to take over, Chris? No, I'll stick it out for a little bit. Okay. So how much longer do you think we're going to go for? Well, me personally, I don't think any any further past seven. Hey, uh, Jason, what do you want me to do with this train when, when it gets to the end of track at uh, Fresno? You just want me to delete it? Yep. Roger. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Forty-four seventy-one to eighty-four eighty-six. Clear signal now at uh, cable crossover. Looking good up here. Over. All right, clear signal cable. Keep on moving. Upper set UP seventy-seven eighty. around to see what's going on. Let's keep keep trains showing up in here. Oh man, they got tons of power. <laughs> I'm woefully under 
car and just turn it on an accident. NSF 3259 East stopped main one CP Sanket. User disconnected from your channel. Thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Things are starting to peter out here, though. They usually do. Go this way. Oh, there it is. There's that 50. UP7786, come in over. Let's go ahead and cut that helper south of CP Mojave, please. Roger. 
pond and drive by Mojave, cut the help us off, Roger. Uh, south of CP Mojave on the second track. Roger that. South in the single track. Here we go. We'll see you, Jace. Thanks for everything. See you, Dave. Sorry you had such a, such a hard time. That's right. We'll get it right one of these days. Yep. <laughs> see you guys. See you, Dave. See you, Dave. See you, Dave. Later. See ya. User disconnected from your channel. Rock and roll, Illman. all the code line poles and stuff. Huh. No. <sighs> what else do I got going on here? Not much else left, really. SF-8486, UP-254, over. UP-Yomaha-254, over. Are we going to ride this to the bottom or cut off here at the top, over? Uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, uh, UP-Yomaha-4471, over. 4471, answer in, over. Uh, do you want that helper all the way to the bottom? It could go either way. Uh, I think we're only about 7,700 tons, so uh, I think we can probably manage. Um, if you want to ride along, great, but uh, I think we could go either way. Okay, 84, 86, what do you guys want to do? You want to ride it out, or you want to cut away to hatch being called today? You can stay on. It's fine with me. Okay, all right, we'll ride it out to the bottom there. I'll probably have you guys duck in at Flata when it's all said and done. Okay, Flata, take that off there. Okay, yeah, I'll let you guys know at the bottom here if that's what I want to do. I'll let you know. Right to that. BNSF 4282 South, uh, approach clear 53 plus 7.2 out. 8486 to the NN 4471. 4471, answer, over. I assume you had a clear there, so you want to get back at it? Yep, we're, uh, we're all clear, and I think we're good for uh, 55 now. Did you see they raise the speed between Trent and Brick? What out on the Trent line or something? On the on the on the northeast quarter. Oh really? 150. Whoa. Will it do that? The old ones will, yeah. I don't know if the new ones will. I bet that catenary shakes like a you know what. <laughs> yeah. All that old Penzi infrastructure. Yep. Next thing we know, the high beams start falling down. They lose all the catenary. That's completely straight there.
4471 to the uh, 8486, you can probably come uh, right back now. 
train to clear up down here at Caliente. SF 4471, advance approach. Southbound, uh, main one, out. Roger that, 8486, advance approach on the head end. And uh, 8486, uh, we're in dynamics now, front here. Why don't you go and uh, start grabbing back there as well? Alright, going to dynamics. smooth right now should I, if I'd been paying attention I could have crossed that 4471 over a camera and, and run them right down to the BNSF that probably would have been the smarter move but I wasn't paying that close attention to it yeah this is actually pretty fun Jason thanks for setting this up no problem Kevin I'm sorry had a hard time getting you in here. Sorry? I said I'm sorry I had a hard time getting you in here. That's alright. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry about earlier. My brain was just still processing things. <laughs> I get it, Kevin. I get it. But I'm in here now and I'm doing pretty well. Oh, he's the lone, he's the lone ranger over on the. After uh, I get to this train to Fresno, Jason, depending if my manager doesn't call me out to do a, a van run, uh, do you want me to grab anything else? No, and you won't make it that far. We're going to call it quits as soon as these guys get to the top. Okay, sounds good. Yep, I pretty much got it all lined up for the most part. I shall save these.
You heard it, didn't hear it, didn't see it. Seventy forty four seventy one to the eighty four eighty six. Best approach at uh, three seventy one dot six and I'm gonna start putting some air on. Three seventy one dot six, advanced approach, you're gonna set some air, Roger. I should have asked this earlier, but did, did any of you guys read my helper document I made? Yes, sure did. Uh, how how was that? Was that was it informative? Yeah, followed it to the T. Worked perfectly. Good. Yeah, very helpful. Thanks, guys. I should have asked a bigger sample earlier, but I was I was hoping. I mean, not because we didn't really have many helper problems, at least like in terms of stuff disappearing and people losing their trains and this and that the kind of things that would happen with that so that's that's good yeah we have uh 4471 and i haven't had any issues so it's been great i'm glad we tested that jason that was a good idea oh, i'm glad we did too i have a couple good ideas once in a while uh, i'm good for about once a week and usually i burn it on monday You can't always get what you want. <laughs> right. Forty-four uh, seventy-one to eighty-four eighty-six. Uh, do you have uh, some more dynamics you put on there? We got them all applied. Over. There, Roger. I should have crossed you guys over camera, and I, I, I wasn't paying attention to what that grain train was doing. Pulled an NS on that one. EP seventy seven seven EP seventy seven eighty six helper clear in Orpah Hobby. Roger. Once you get onto the single track, uh, set your counter, and we'll catch you down once we get close. Yeah, Roger. Uh, once you get to the south end on the single track, we'll set the counter, and you'll let me know. Christian, what unit are you on? 4,400. Okay, once you guys get south of uh, Mojave and get cut away, it'll be your signal back into the yard. That's where I'm going to put you. Just any open track will do in there. Alright.
4471 to 8486. So just coming up on their SV reduction to 25 now. Roger, coming up on the 25. Omaha 254 to the uh, BSF 4471, over. BSF 4471, answer it, over. Once this guy ahead of you clears the BNSF crossover, I'm going to take you over to the BNSF. Everybody south of Sanborn, and uh, you can just stop in order to get south of Sanborn. Okay, we'll stop when we're uh, south of Sanborn for the 4471, over. P7796, clear south of Holly, one to the main. Help us up. NSF uh, 4471, advanced approach, Warren, southbound, main one, over. Time to take copper, start the counter, uh, Ari on the single. Say that again? I started the counter on the single line now. Alright.
Topic point in either way. I think I might be looking for a relief crew here shortly. All right, Ash, so we'll find you a hole. Advanced approach 3770 south, main one, over. Advanced approach 3770.0. 7786, bring it to a stop. That should be good for there. Roger. Let me get three step on the stop for the helper crew. Yep, once I get a stop, you will have three step for the EP7786. Signal the time out real quick. Hey. There we go. Get some routes. Kaboom. Kaboom.
Actually, I'll give him one more sync on the flying here. UP7786, uh, helper set, you got three. Roger. You want to enable crew interaction, Harrison? Yeah, I forgot about that. You got it now. Uh, DS-254, PNSF-3259 East. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. I'm at Caliente here, main one. like to just log off for the day or shut her down. Right there's good. If you're still on the double track, that's fine. All right, and you want me to stop it or delete? <laughs> I'll leave it there. We'll use it again sometime. Okay, perfect. Here, Thank you. Have, and thank you guys all for dispatching and oh. putting this all together. No problem. We'd love to have you again. NSF 4282, diverging clear cable. Oh. Poor grain train, Jason. I left it at 1.7 HPT. <laughs> left them out at like 10 mile an hour. You can sit there and rot, right? I don't know when I took over, but it's still, it's just now going through cable crossover. <laughs> Jeez. NSF 8112, BNSF, dust 26, over. 26. Yeah, we're just entering uh, Conejo. Do you want us to. Stop entire train down here at the on the, the double track area. Whenever you can get it stopped. All right, and then same question: Do you want us to delete it, uh, or do you want? I'll just leave it there. We'll use it again. All right, Roger. Thanks for setting this all up, Jason. It was pretty fun. Disconnected from your channel. No problem. Hopefully, maybe we'll have something new to play with in June. Sounds like a good plan. 4471 to uh, 8486, over. 8486, over. Uh, sounds like the detector just got us, and it actually sounds like it's the uh, axles on the on the helper power there. Yeah, it sounds like it's the rear, rear unit. Stop whenever you want. All right, bring it to stop. SF uh, 4471, uh, DS 254, over. 254. 4471, uh, got caught by the detector at uh, 377.0. We're all stopped here on uh, main one. Okay, detector, gotcha. And you're all stopped on main one. Uh, let me know what you guys find. Will do. 8486, uh, dispatcher 254. Go ahead. Yeah, I got smoke rolling out from under the units here, so traction motors are hot or the brake shoes are hot over. Okay, uh, smoke's coming out from under the units. Um, you gonna let it sit there and cool down for a minute before you guys proceed? Yeah, we'll do that over. Okay, alrighty. No, no alarms or anything off the uh, uh, engine or anything? Nope, didn't get any alarms. Alright. All right, Harrison, all clear. You can jump my three. For some reason, God doesn't want you to have a marker this time, so <laughs> have uh, fun. All right, Roger, we'll give it a try on our end. Uh, thanks for the help getting us up and over the mountain. Over. Roger. For reference, when that happens, Harrison, uh, relinquish your train and then take it back and then put the EOT on it. should hang after that. Roger. 4400254 over. Very good. Okay to take this light here in Mojave. 
That is your light in for the yard. Uh, any clear track is good enough for me. Uh, sure. Take them up to Ansel there, and that'll do it for you. Up to Ansel for now, and we'll see you later. Have a good night. All right, 254 up. 7786. You know, Jason, I think that's going to do it for me, too, because yeah, every, everybody, everybody needs to make complex moves has done them. Yep, let's just stop. All right, you want to just leave it here? Just leave it there, that's correct. Yep. That was fun, guys. Glad you had a good that time. Was a blast, yeah. Good, good, good. Fortunately, unfortunately, I feel bad for my colleague Christian there, who had to deal with me for the entire session. If nothing else, Jason, you know you did a good job because I actually felt like I was at work today. <laughs> good. Tell him what you did on the mountain. Oh, I slept the whole trip. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> you go up the mountain at 10 mile an hour or whatever, you just kick your feet up and catch a nap. NSF 81-12, all stopped, main one. Is everybody all stopped? Yep, I'm all about that. Okay. Eat away for an little job, Jason. Thank you. We'll do it again. All done here. Absolutely. Most definitely. Like I said, I hope we have some new content to play with next time. Oh, yes, absolutely. I can't wait. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you. I always yep. appreciate you guys. You do a really good job. Yeah, well, listen. Was blast, buddy. No problem, Eric. Well, you know, you give us the tools, Jason. That's the thing. Thank you, thank you. So, I'm, Thanks uh, again for setting that up, Jason. It was awesome. Good, good. Yeah, that was my first time working with a helper, and that was a good learning experience, so thank it you. Won't, it won't be the last. If nothing comes out new, we'll do a retro cone section next, session next, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this down. All right. All right. Later, later, All right. later everyone. Much. All right, everyone. Right, see you guys. Bye, guys. User disconnected from, User your, disconnected from your channel. Disconnected. All righty, that is going to do it. I'm going to actually just bail out in case Jason takes the server down, so... Um, oh, he already did. Okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, that was Jason's uh, modern Mojave session. Uh, call board stuff. We're eight and a half hours in. It usually takes all day. I think my Conrad one he did took like nine. So, um, so that'll do it. Um, so thanks for sticking around for those of you who put in for the long haul. Uh, I don't know what we'll do next. Work's been incredibly busy, and uh, I was I've been pretty tired since the last one. You know, it was just. You get evenings to do things, and you just, I just didn't feel like doing it. I just didn't feel like sitting there for six, seven hours running and stuff. So, but, but we'll, we'll, we'll try to get back into this, and make it a regular thing. So, um, so I don't know what we'll do. I think we're actually due for an A line one. I haven't done A line in V two yet, so I think or V three. So I think we're going to. I'll probably swing toward an A line session. I do know that when the fits comes out, we will be all about the fits. I know that for sure because a lot of us have been waiting for it. It looks good. Uh, uh, Jason's screenshots on Facebook have looked really good, so uh, I know we got the fits coming out soon. Um, well, I don't know about soon, but it's it's on its way. Uh, so yeah, like Jason, hopefully we have some new stuff to play with in the next call board session runs around. But the next stream, I'm definitely gonna li line it up for the A line, unless something crazy happens, or whatever. But that's gonna do it, guys. I'm tired. It was a good session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So uh, take care, and I will see you guys next time.